Hello everybody in YouTube land and everyone who's watching on Twitch land today. This is going to be a doozy. I'm building uh, for a new challenge that's uh, going to be uh, that's going to be running on the channel for the majority of tw all of 2023 and a good chunk of 2024. Something that right now the working title from uh, Autofail Token is the Arkham Gauntlet. I am planning on building 18 decks with one collection. Because the idea is that if I include a card in my Investigator's decks in Dunwich, it is then grayed out, blacked out, removed from the pool for the rest of the, the whole run. So I have to build 18 decks, uh, which are two for Dunwich, two Car Carcosa, two for Forgotten Age, two for Circle Undone, four for Dream Eaters, two for Innsmouth, two for Edge of the Earth, and two for Scarlet Keys. I was telling uh, chat beforehand that this is basically like the next level of desperation to feel alive. Because it's like when Tom Cruise, he does more elaborate stunts in each of his movies just to feel more alive because the last one didn't satiate that hunger inside of him. This is me looking for what I think is right now probably the biggest challenge that I've ever tried to do with this game. With the biggest limited deck building. So I think... I just broke the thing on my pen! Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna throw this whole pen away now. Get in the trash! Don't worry, I have another one. <laughs> um, and this is kind of like... Uh, I think this is gonna be very difficult. And I have some ideas. I like In my mind, I'm like, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, this is something that I'm going to be able to do. Uh, is that true? Is it going to be as easy, I think? As I'm, am I going to get through a bunch of the decks and then, like, start panicking? Probably, right? Once we get to, like, I think once we get through nine decks, I'll be like, the first nine, we're going we're gonna to just breeze through. And then the last nine are going to be a bit of an issue. But we're going to find out, right? So, I've broken it down. This is, we're going to be using the revised core. Uh, so, this is the revised core, the uh, amounts of the cards that exceed the normal tuple core uh, thing. And then we have uh, four, uh, these are the cards that are the upgraded versions that appear in the revised core. And then these are everything from the starter decks. For things like permanent cards, like um, um, Down the Rabbit Hole. I'm going to include what came in the box. So I only get one copy of Down the Rabbit Hole. And I have my cards that I can pull if there is uh, a thing. And yeah. Are you using Excel to uh, upkeep cards? I'd love to see the method so I can mimic with friends. Honestly, right now my, my, my method is... Uh, chat is going to yell at me if I make a mistake. <laughs> so. What I want to start with. Is we need to figure out... Um, our nine ideas for clue getting and our nine ideas for enemy management right because we're gonna need um to have a plan and then these plans are gonna need to take a chunk of our card pool to be relevant so notably if i just go like this which are like key cards we have um only we have four we have two copies of prepared for the worst. And we have also two copies of Backpack 2. So those are two ways to find weapons that we'll probably be using. One uh, enemy management, which I already gonna know, is we're gonna do Dexter Drake with Cyclopean Hammer and uh, his Molly Maxwell. Um, so that is, uh, so Dexter Drake, he'll be using Cyclopean Hammer, and he is also going to be able to take advantage of Molly Maxwell to find cards from his deck, specifically, like, this is how, because, like, with all these plans to kill things, we need consistency in our deck. But the problem is, is that the deck's consistency is being spread across 18 cards. <laughs> like, 18 decks, right? So, like, I can't put prepared for the worst in all my goon decks and i also can't run excess weapons in all of my goon decks because uh well 
that's a problem. <laughs> uh, because, you know, we have uh, those guns are going to be spread out and need to be delivered in the right spot. Uh, what we also have for enemy management is we have Rita Young. Justin's time to do a pacifist run. I, I don't know about that. Well, we might be, it might have to happen because like I said I mean, we need to build a bunch of decks here, right? So Rita Young has built an evasion uh, and built in enemy management in her kit. Um, so then Rita Young is probably going to get dirty fighting. Uh, Nathaniel Cho is another one because he has with boxing gloves and kill events because he kind of has lives in a package all in on his own, right? which is kind of huge. Uh, what we can do as well is we can do Kaimani in Forgotten Age as one of our options as well. Because if there's one place where Kaimani really shines, it would be in uh, Forgotten Age. <clears throat> so yeah, Kaimani, uh, TVA only, is a possibility. Um, Daniela, so, Daniela with Fire Extinguisher. Uh, what goes up in value is any character that has a weapon in their natural kit. So, we have Tony, we have Roland. We, well, Roland kind of sucks. Uh, we have Tony, we have Roland, we have Silas Marsh with a uh, harpoon. Uh, and then uh, Tony Morgan with guns. <clears throat> Tommy Muldoon has Becky. The only problem is Tommy will do no need good weapon search if we're going to be doing this. So what are we at here with these ideas? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, we're almost done. <laughs> we're almost done. Oh, Joe Diamond. Yeah. So what we can also do, Joe, Di let me just grab like this. Uh, flex squads, flex squads, Joe Diamond and Ash can Pete. Great, uh, great flexing there, right? Ta uh, flex squad, uh, Finn Edwards is a fantastic flex as well. Um, but Finn, Finn Edwards is also a good clue getter, but he also has the built-in enemy evasion to make this possibly a thing. Oh yeah, we have we only we haven't even touched any of the killers, right? So we have Jacqueline Fine with shards of the void and other kill spells. We have Parallel Agnes with with kill events right so we have this stuff too right how about lily chen with the poles yeah lily chen with dragon poles so this is all like there's a lot of like unique weapons the clue getting is kind of just going to be a little bit more like we're going to be throwing bb shroud or uh, uh also like use i'm going to use fingerprint kit for the first time okay uh i think this is a pretty good base Mark Harrigan? Yeah, Mark Harrigan with guns is also an option as well. Mark Harrigan with guns. But I think this is a good starting point. We have a lot of different options here, right? We have a lot of different options here. So now let's look at clue getting, right? Now let's look at clue getting. So we have, I'm going to just do Finn, uh, sorry, we go Trish Scarborough. Um... Like, so we need, like, sorry, I, I, I want to play, like, Trish and Finn. They, but the problem is they eat a very similar card pool, right? You forgot Sled Dog Leo? Oh, no. Anyways. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, I'm probably going to use Daisy Walker, um, Old Book of Lore, Research. I think we're going to do that. FX Clark, how's it going? Big Hand and Someone Harvey? Yeah, Big Hand could work. Uh, we're going to do Daryl Simmons. <clears throat> Evidence, I think. Rex with all the garbage cards? Yeah. Rex, yeah, Rex will just kind of come in at the end. Um, uh, we're going to probably do Stella Test Add Zero. But luckily, so we actually have um, two copies. We have four copies of Lockpick 1. So we can do Trish with Lockpicks. And we can also do Finn with Lockpicks as an option.
Wendy will be the final deck, since you always say Wendy can have 30 blank cards. That is, I do always say that. So, like, we're, we're getting the cores of the decks here. The problem is, okay, so then we get uh, Mystic with uh, spells, <laughs> Mystic with Clue Spells 1, Mystic with Clue Spells 2. <laughs> so then I can also put over here Mystic with Kill Spells 2. <laughs> Uh, what I actually also want to do is I want to do uh, Professor William Webb Scavenge deck. Hmm. Rex is good at Arkham the card game. TM. Well, we have nine. I think this is a pretty all right start. The problem is this Dexter Drake deck without it starting with Cyclopean Hammer, what's our level zero, right? Like what's our level zero? But like, I mean, like realistically, we're not gonna have great, like there, it, it, these decks aren't gonna be perfect. Right, because we're building with one collection. So these decks are not gonna just be easy. So I think what's the best thing we can do is we gotta start building some decks, right? And then this is where things get fucked. <laughs> this is where things get a little bit wild. So I'm trying to think of the best way of how to handle this right oh yeah doubt yeah that can be in the flex dowsing rod uh doom uh mystic hand slot items so yeah, this is where things are going to get a bit nightmarish when we build the decks and we start having to put cards in but i think the best way of starting this is we start with oh Preston. Preston Fairmont is good because he has built in economy, just so I don't forget this. Um, we're gonna start with I think Rita Young. <laughs> go, Rita, go. Okay, so Rita's a goon. And Rita is going to get the copies of Track Shoes. Track Shoes are done. Track Shoes, no more. Arkham Gauntlet, Rita Young. Relentless is built in economy. I agree, Relentless is economy, but I wouldn't call it as built in because it's <laughs> it is a card in the deck. It's not it's not free. But well, we might have to play Relentless in this. Um, yeah, so she is going to be getting the Baseball Bat. And she is going to get Baseball Bat 2 as well. Uh, she's also going to get Dirty Fighting. Alright, so we just need to add 26 more cards that we can't use anywhere else. So let's look at Tricks. Um, hmm. We're also going to have to do a bunch of thinking about where she's going to live, right? Like, where is she going to live? <sighs> okay. I think she might be able to get the sneak by, but that also could go into Kaimani. Ooh, warning shot's a trick. The breaking and enterings are also going to be pretty clutch, right? Uh, the thing about breaking and enterings, though, is that it's probably going to be one of the things where someone 
doesn't get the level zero version, but the idea is that they get the upgraded version, right? Because basically we don't get to make nice decisions here. No one else is going to want bait, or bait and switch or belly of the beast. So these can live in Rita no problem. She probably will also end up walking away with this hiding spot, but we're just gonna, here, let's just take a note, hiding spot. Hmm. And we also only get one in the thick of it, which is probably realistically gonna live in a mystic deck. Cause I, there's only one copy of in the thick of it in a, in a, in a box of edge of the earth, right? Does she need teddy bear? She might get teddy bear. She also actually probably will benefit the most from Pete Sylvester. So she might get Pete Sylvester. Because that's the other thing we got to do is we got to figure out where our allies are going to go. Like who gets what allies, right? And it's probably likely that Rita will benefit the most from Pete Sylvester in the build we have here. Yeah, I think we're just going to call that. So she is locking in Pete Sylvester. Okay. Rita, you can get the manual. You can get two of the manual dexterities. So that means we have two manual dexes that we can still give out. And I think they make sense in Rita. And if we play Kaimani, they make sense in Kaimani. Level zero Pete is good in Rita. Maybe uh, two Pete could live somewhere else. That is true. That is true. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. But right now we're gonna I'm gonna confidently lock it in here because we also still need to spend experience. Tennessee Sour Mash is likely gonna live somewhere. Uh it could be here, but it also could be somewhere else. Um Ooh, let's go over here and let's go blessed Will Yorick. Sneak attack, yeah, probably. Um, here, let's look at evade, because then we can have some stuff here. Oh, what's that one skill? Oh, no, it's not here. Uh, survival Instinct can probably live in this deck. Hey, what are we doing today? We're building 18 decks with one collection. That's what we're doing today. Stunning Blow? Maybe Stunning Blow. Stunning Blow can live somewhere else, too. Alright, I think we stop this deck here so there's going to be a lot of jumping around because we just got to get like the core stuff in the decks right so we're just going to stop this deck here um i think i need to figure out all my killers and i think i need to also then like figure out where they live in each color um so why don't we just grab um i'm actually gonna go to will yorick Yeah, sweeping the sweeping people have a home there. Sweeping people have a home there, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So this is Arkham Gauntlet. Will Yorick. Alright. Are you ready, chat? It's finally time for this man to hold his shovel. Two copies of knife as well, a hundred percent. Uh, and we're going to grab two copies of Blessed Blade. We're going to grab Favor of the Sun, and we're going to put it in the side deck, I think. Uh, 
Um, hmm. Get like the stuff that we know other people are not going to compete with. Uh, so this one, he can take the short supply because no one else is really going to take that, right? Yeah, Mr. Potter, like we have like Mr. Potterson and we have like stuff like that. Those are like, I need to see the bigger picture before I start putting cards like that in. Because there's also like if I play Silas, Silas could really benefit from Mr. Potterson, right? So it really kind of, I need to see like the bigger picture before I start deciding on this kind of stuff. <clears throat> Who wants the tarots? Tor yeah, that's a good point. The tarots can actually live in, and also the tarots can be divvied up between decks, right? Like my fighters can each, each of them can take a tarot, right? Like one can take one, one can take the other. So like that is pretty important to figure out. I'm just gonna make a note of that. Split the tarot's. Okay. Yeah, the red. Unfortunately, the red tarot's ain't great. <laughs> okay. Do you want short supply in the Yorick deck or the William Webb deck? I want short supply in the Yorick deck because he, uh, as the goon, you need to find weapons and he likely won't be able to get, like he might, he probably won't be able to be the one running backpack or prepared for the worst. Geared up, maybe. Maybe geared up. He needs Relentless. Maybe. <laughs> maybe but we have to also look at like the economy going forward like right now i'm basically just divvying out the cards that i know no one else is gonna want <sighs> because then he can kind of look at it afterwards He could probably be the one who plays the Schaffners. You know what? He could also probably just do a one of Schaffners. How's gonna who's gonna go Dark Horse? Probably Ashcan Pete, if I'm gonna wager. Problem is, Yorick likes economy. And he needs cashola. Are we doing all survivor deck builds? No, we're building 18 decks with one collection. Alright, Yorick, you're going to chill again for a bit. There's going to be a lot of this, so just everyone buckle up. We're, we're going to be bouncing between decks like crazy. All right, who should we look at next? Who should we look at next? You know what? Let's look at let's get Nathaniel Cho. You can give police badge to York. No one else. That's actually very true. Uh, York would probably do well with the police badge. I'm just going to write that down. That's a great point. All right. This deck actually should be uh, a little bit easier. Uh, cause we're honestly, he's probably just going to get like his deck. <laughs> so boxing gloves. Uh, so this guy's going to be the one taking the mono and monos. So we're just going to put those in the side deck. Okay. Clean them out. High value. Monster Slayer, very nice. One two punch. Toe to toe can probably live in Daniela. If we play a Daniela, so toe to toe's not gonna live somewhere yet. Glory is maybe in this one. Because glory is good, uh consistent it's like it's like some it might be some deck's only way of getting consistency. And Nathaniel Cho is going to have consistency built into his boxing gloves, right? So Glory is going to be one that it might live somewhere else. 
Stand Together. Stand Together is another very important card that might have to live somewhere else. Counter Punch, that costs zero. I don't think anyone else is going to want this Heroic Rescue. We have 10 e-caches in total. So basically, we're going to look at the curves of the deck and we're going to divvy out our economy accordingly. Yeah, I think the upgraded Heroic Rescue will live there as well. Yeah, get over here for sure. If we don't have a Mark Harrigan, I imagine I'm going to give this to him. Let me handle this. This one might live somewhere else, though. We're going to have to see. That's, that's another late one. So notably, we actually have four copies of Vicious Blow as well, which is really nice. Four copies of Vicious Blow. Stick the plan will also be hard. That's a good point. Let's see how many copies there are. Because then it came out in Dunwich, so we actually might have two stick to the plans. Yeah, so we actually have two stick to the plans, which is nice. So we could divvy those up between two blue investigators. That is really nice. That's really good. That's that's clutch, actually. I think that's clutch. Because then that means some of them can have like lose some of their e-caches if needed. Okay. Um... <laughs> uh, three copies of Guts, anyone? Okay. How are we doing? Have we used up a lot of our card pool yet? No, like, are we running out of, are we running out of time? Am, am I starting to panic yet? No, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Alright, who should we look at next? I mean, we can look at Tony Morgan with guns. That's actually a probably a pretty easy deck, right? You could rock a small deck Zoe with Underworld support. Yeah, I could. <laughs> that's not a bad. That's not a bad call. I was also thinking um, doing a, a small deck parallel skids. Ooh, yeah, what that... I mean, we're going to decide that at the end. <laughs> Arkham Gauntlet. Tony Morgan. All right. Give me the weapons. Uh, we're going to grab... The question is now, do we actually do... How did you select which investigators were picked for the challenge? I haven't selected. I'm kind of just going... We're just doing it now. We're just kind of like doing it on the fly. So we actually could do guns or we could do... Tony can use the rogue cards that no other rogue is going to want, right? Looks like you're doing the challenge that Super Fang and I came up at the exact same time. Yes, I am very much doing that. And uh, so... We're going to probably um, maybe try that out. Your knuckle duster, baby. Is there anyone else that wants green guns? I'll counter that point being like, is there anyone else that wants a <laughs> knuckle duster? Because I think green guns can go into... Um, green guns can go into Leo Anderson. Green guns can go into Leo.
But then there also is like the big guns, right? Because like no one's going to want the Beretta. And anyone, I mean, actually, do you know who could go with the Beretta if we want to be a little bit crazy? Good old Winifred Havamuck. Daft Galley 1000, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Much appreciated, and thank you for using your Bezos bucks on us. So this is something we could do with... But what we could also do, chat, what we could also do is Leo could stay guns. Leo can stay... Sorry, Tony can stay guns. And then, you know what, well, let's just take some stuff out of this for a second. So, t Tony, just chill for a bit, brother. You have you're 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 hogging a lot of space. Leo Anderson. We can revisit one of my favorite decks I've ever built in Arkham. Thank you for all the great content you put out in here on the tubes. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. The Leo Tree Hands deck? That's not funny, chat. <laughs> uh, but the Knuckle Duster, Knuckle Duster Reliable Leo was one of the some of the most fun I've had playing Arkham. Just punching dudes like it's nothing. And you know what? He probably gets the sled dogs, right? <laughs> <laughs> we probably just give Leo the sled dogs. Not even just to kill with them, but also just because uh, they are good. Uh, they, they're going to cover four slots in his deck. It takes up four slots, yeah. Chad likes the dogs. You know what, I'm going to put the dogs in because it's kind of just like a two-mana soak. Also, if you want to go a Nacho, Sled Dog, hot ch uh, Nacho is my hot tech. That does sound like hot tech. Have you named all the dogs yet? Yeah, I have. But I can't tell you because I'll have to kill you. Uh, Leo is going to need a fist boost. But luckily, Guardians actually have a good chunk of fist boosting in their kit. Leo is also realistically probably going to be one who gets one of our four charismas. Right? Realistically, Leo is probably going to get some Charismas. So how many killer decks do I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five. And we haven't even got to the Mystics yet. A lot of fun with Nacho Sled Dogs. What? What is this hot tech coming out? It's... Charlie should get two Charismas? Charlie ain't in this competition. <laughs> Does he get in the thick of it for Charisma? Maybe, but the in the thick of it is realistically going to go into a Mystic deck. Because we can do some stuff with Down the Rabbit Hole in that deck. Because I'm pretty sure you only get one copy of In the Thick of It. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's not in my binder, so yeah, it's in my Patrice deck right now. Who's getting Brannica Thugga? That's a great question. One that I don't have the answer for right now. <laughs> we're, we're, thi we're thinking like, you're, we're, we're, we're thinking about the future, but we're also currently in the moment. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's save this right now. You know what? That could be a thing. Because blackjack is another weapon. Sister Mary bless stuff? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Back to you, Tony. 
Give him the gun. So you get the Mauser. I mean, you can actually take this one. You'll probably succeed with that a bit better. Because the Mausers could end up going in someone like Leo or someone else. Not this Derringer. Give me the basic Derringer. So plus two. Uh, you are also going to get Switchblade. Because you are the best user of upgraded Switchblade, I think. Yeah, you're going to get the upgraded Derringer as well. It's perfect on ammo, but remember, Tony actually also has guns in his kit. So, um, that is nice. And I think Tony will also probably benefit from the garrot wire. Does Tony get the backpack? Potentially, potentially. We have a lot of decks we need to get through still. This timed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're building too many decks. This didn't save. <laughs> Hello, turn to the months time sure flies by when you're playing Arkham. It's true. It's true. How's it going, Tresmillion? Arkham, Gauntlet. There we go, Leo Anderson. Okay, good. Okay, uh, we probably should look at a Mystic, right? We probably should look at a Mystic. Also, like, just because I've started them, it might mean that they don't actually stay, right? Like, we're just theory crafting all the starts of these decks. And just to kind of get, like, pieces in place, right? Dresmillion, 22 months at the Golden Table. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for being you. Much appreciated. By the way, if you're watching, if you have not used your Twitch Prime on somebody, consider throwing it at me. I would love to have that. I would love to have it. Hmm. I do admittedly like the idea of Kaimani being, like, ba basically taking two flexes through, um, Forgotten Age. Is Grandma happening? Grandma might happen. I don't know. I think we run Jacqueline, potentially, right? Parallel Agnes also can be a thing. Three, four, five. So I need four more if I'm just following this. But I also still have, like, Joe Diamond. The Joe Diamond Ash Can Pete Flex Group is very good. Jacqueline is best purple. Change my mind. I don't, I'm not going to change your mind. I, I mean, I, I'm fine with that. I like Grandma a bit more, but they both kind of sit into the same spot, which is just like, we're going to have you win the game. <laughs> we actually have a lot of weapons, which is good because there's a lot of weapons left, which means we can still actually divvy out weapons between some of these goons. Like, we just have to get all of our goons done first, right? So many knives left. Yeah, we're going to try to avoid using bad cards still. <laughs> All right. Let's look at... Let's build some decks. Oh. 
We're going to grab Parallel Agnes. And I think we'll also go to Dexter, I think, here. You know what? Also, let's also give me Jacqueline. Let's look at these ones. <sighs> Voice of Ra. Uh, we're going to be taking Shards of the Void in this deck, I think. You, We actually also get four copies of Ritual Candles. So let's put two in this deck. This deck could run Olive, no problem. So we're going to give her Olive. And we have, she's also going to, I think, get the Crystal Pendulum. But we actually have to figure out, we're going to have to wait on the Mystic Staples, I think. Okay, Dexter. I would like the blood of Balshandor. What is his weakness? The book one? What are his replacement things? It's called like, uh, yeah, Yazdoroth. What the fuck? The book is called Blood from ba Blood of Belshandor. Yeah. The fuck, man. All right, get rid of this shit. They're good. We can still do it. Let's do it right now, but we might change that. We might change that. All right, he gets the Cyclopean Hammer. Problem is, Cyclopean Hammer is mighty fucking expensive. So he actually is going to be getting some evade spells, I think. Oh, what's it called? What's the one that we never play because it's an evade spell? It's the one from the Jacqueline deck. I can get there. <sighs> it's the lady fading away. What's it called? Ineffable truth. I was not going to get there on my own. Uh, Dex can run the Liquid Courage. I don't think anyone else is going to want this. Dex also can run Priests of Two Faiths. In the side deck. Oh my god, okay. Does they both they can have one and give a small deck Zoe to the other? Potentially. Potentially. I'm gonna leave him I think actually we have we have four copies of Liquid Courage. Nope, I lied. This is the level one. There's the upgraded liquid courage that we really need to. I think right now it can live here though. Because I think using this ability is probably just better in the long term. All right, Dex, you sit here for right now. Oh, I guess I should change your name. Blinding light. Oh, she could run explosive ward. It, uh, you, you don't get, you have to, I think it doesn't work with this as well. The thing, because it's, you replace the front, reduce its cost. But if I stay, if I pay X, if I reduce the cost on an X, is it still, uh, 
So if the X was four, but I reduce its cost, does that actually work? Probably not, right? Because you're not paying it. You pay, the X is probably what you end up paying, right? I think that does work. So I can just say, I can just say two and not pay. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. All right, she's also going to grab the read the signs. And she's also... That is a question. Would Encage the Soul work? I have no idea. That's above my pay grade. Oh, uh, yeah. Storm of Spirits probably works well here. Storm of Spirits not in Luke? Probably not. Luke's job isn't to kill things. Luke's job is to get clues, if we even run Luke. Are you building 18 Mystic decks? No, I'm building 18 decks. Absolutely not 18 Mystic decks. She probably will do well with the Arcane Initiates. But I don't want to make any decisions yet. I think we're just going to keep theory crafting some decks. Probably the safest to stick with Five Wheel Mystics. I agree with that completely, actually. I never even thought of that. But that is a very, very smart point. I think it's all parallel. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're at the point now where we're almost at like a workshopped idea. Would Hallowed Mirror go anywhere else? Maybe, but probably not. Probably not. I mean, but luckily we have four we have uh we have four relic hunters to give out. And we never need to give anyone more than one, probably. Okay. Who else do I like from this? I still want to pay, play around with Kaimani, but I think Kaimani's going to be a bit more of a flex if we do this. Uh, we have Nathaniel Cho. We have Dexter. We have Rita. Daniela, I think. Silas also can be good. I'm very good at playing Silas. <laughs> Toot my own horn. Uh, and I think that I can build... I can make anything work in a Silas deck. I mean... Remember when I... I, I soloed... Uh, <laughs> Do you remember when I soloed uh, City of Archives with Silas because Jenny died? That was pretty sick. I don't think we're going to do Tommy Muldoon with Becky. I think that's done. I could still look at Mark Harrigan with guns. I think that is alright. I think that's an avenue I can explore. And basically, if I don't need to use Mystics for kill spells, I can make the Daniela... Uh, Agnes and Jacqueline deck better, assuming we do run those. So I think... But we also then also still have Joe Diamond and Ashcan Pete, right? Which are two very good flex investigators. And we also still have all the Doom Mystic hand slot items. Honestly, this might be too easy. <laughs> okay. I think the hardest part's going to be is like deciding, right? I like Daniela because she can do something about drawing anything, but we have a lot of survivors. Excellent point there as well. Like, probably Silas Marsh with Fire Extinguisher is... Or, like, Will York getting Fire Extinguisher is probably better, right? I'll do a Silas Marsh deck. I like Silas. Because Silas can use a lot of shit that no one else is going to want. Because we can just go to, like, innate. And, like, 
<laughs> like he can probably use the he can use most of this stuff. Like he can use fearless. He can he can take the grizzled. Grizzled is very good in him. We're not playing uh, Winifred, so the opportunist can be here. Intrepid? Yeah, we could do Intrepid. <laughs> he can play Intrepid, that is true. All right. Okay, so I think what we're going to actually do is I think Silas is going to be our Dark Horse boy. I think Silas is going to be our Dark Horse. And then he can take Grandma. Grandmama. Uh, Silas is going to need a lot of skills. So Silas is going to take this not without a fight. Silas is going to take this beloved. Silas is going to take the grizzled. And we can do all this trait stuff later. Silas. I have four guts. Yeah, Silas is getting brute. Yeah, Silas is getting brute forced, and Silas is probably also going to get the expeditious retreat realistically. Um, but Silas is for sure getting the brute force. Silas will probably even get the stroke of Lux. Silas will probably get the phase as well. Um, hmm. the quick thinkings need to go somewhere else. Well, I mean, they might go here, but we need to figure out the quick thinkings. Uh, Silas can probably live, um, true, uh, only one in the thick of it. What are you going to do? That's easy. I'm going to put it in a mystic that's playing the, um, divination Branica Thugga. That's easy. Don't even need to think about that. You know what? I'll give Silas the Intrepid. It only commits for a brain, which kind of sucks, but... It's probably going to go in this deck anyway, except unless we play a Lily Chen deck. So you know what, I'm at? you know what, in Intrepid might have a home somewhere else. Intrepid might be living in Lily Chen. So we got to respect that. Um, I think I'm going to give Silas the Defiance. Okay. And Silas, I think, also is going to have the chainsaw in his back pocket. Because then we can go ghastly possession. And go like that. Um, Silas, I think... He might get some of the copies of... He might be getting uh, Overpower. Hmm. Sa Silas is going to get the upgraded Cherish Keepsakes, by the way. Those are going to live in his deck, which means that they... This is, opens up the possibility for them to uh, go into the Yorick deck. Definitely the Unrelentings. Very good point. That, that There would have been no other home for it. I like this deck, and that's not even just because it's a Silas deck. I just think that this uh, this is like what I do. This is my play style. The only thing Silas is missing is a way to find his weapons consistently, right? So card draw is, I think, important. But Silas also has four foot. So that's why I think Silas is actually going to get the Darings.
Backpack? Back, backpack is going to be probably some of the last cards we put in decks because I only have two backpacks and two backpack twos. One track shoes. Track shoes are currently living in Rita Young. And they're going to stay in Rita Young. Unless she gets killed. In which case, then they will go to someone else. You can take the Derringers. The Derringers might be going to Will Yorick. Alright, I think we can leave Silas for the time being. Something like Scrapper... And then also the edge of the earth, uh, the edge of the earth tricolor cards are also probably going to be in a lot of upgrade pools, just because they help us kind of skirt our economy issue a bit. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine. Save Leo. Sorry, save Tony. Uh, we have nine decks currently, but we actually only have two guardians. So we could probably workshop with another guardian. I do think I like the idea of doing a, a, um, a Joe deck, potentially. Yes, one of the Mystics will get the uh, down the rabbit hole, because uh, as a, uh, the Brand and Cathuga and Divination spells will probably work within the thick of it on that. Is very likely the plan we're going to take. Um, who was I talking about? Joe Diamond is a good option. Joe gets the machete. So Joe gets the machete. Potentially on with, with this. And Joe can also like potentially do this. Magnifying glasses might live in Joe, probably will live in Joe Diamond. Joe, if Joe exists, the problem is I think Joe's gonna eat a lot of space, right? But, like, we can go, like, Tool Belt, Joe. Because do we have multiple? No, because we only have these magnifying. There's no other magnifying glasses. But, yeah, Joe, uh, exactly that. Michael Lee and the scientific uh, the theory have no other, like, homes. So they can live this pretty easily. Oh, yeah, we even have Sledge. There's a lot of weapons in this game. I actually think we're going to be pretty okay with our goons and their weapons. I think our, our Seekers are probably going to be a bit harder. But we can just aim for Seekers that, like, have good, um, have good book, right? Only problem with Joe is he requires 40 cards, though. So, you know what? Actually, Joe might have to get cut. Joe might have to get cut. 40 cards is already kind of tricky. So, why don't we look at Sexy Mark Harrigan? Because Mark can run the Colts. Mark can run the Thompsons. Mark could run the Butterfly Swords. I did like the idea of doing a Lily Chen Butterfly Swords deck, though, as a possibility. But as I said, we're kind of just going to be building um, decks... And, like, we're just going to be theorycrafting a bunch of starting points, then going from there. Can Roland flex enough to be considered? I'm, I'm kind of off Roland right now. My recent run with him, my last two runs with a Roland-shaped character have been very unappealing to me. So I'm kind of, like, on the, in my heart of hearts, Roland is D-tier and I don't like him anymore part of my life. So I'm not saying no, but I'm saying not likely. I mean, this is a nice start. 
over here. Oh, we still have the fuck. Man, we have so many weapons to work with. We have so many weapons to work with. Okay. Holy cow. There's a lot of weapons in this game. I'm doing a lily deck as well. Let's get a lily on the board. Uh, Arkham? <laughs> lily? All right, so we're going to grab a knife. <laughs> Let's go! Um, she can run. But the thing is, like, if she runs Runic Axe, like, I like her with Butterfly Swords, but also, like, Runic Axe also seems kind of sick, but Butterfly Swords also is very good in Lily. Which discipline? Fist discipline. Give me the fist. That's this one. That's book! Oh, is it on the inverse side? So back side? Yes, okay. So good book, fist. Dragon Pulse an option. Dragon Pulse can get replaced with these. And then, like, give her scrying. <laughs> Just fill up this, the, except those arcane slots. Just to get the Dragon Pulse, like, online. I do think I want the butterfly swords for her. The question is, like, what else is in her mystic pool, right? But we need Scrying and Grandma. I don't know if Grandma's going to make the cut. We're going to find out if Grandma's going to make the cut or not. There we go, baby. A one of Intrepid. <laughs> Delve Too Deep is also it's probably going to go into our investigators that play in Dunwich because that's the other thing we got to do is we got to figure out where every team cop's going to go right alright let's run this and let's look at this so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 we have 11 fighters to work with currently what are the ones that we think are going to be the best that have the most so we got Mark Harrigan that's just going to shoot guns so Mark can like run the shotgun on this he can take the extra ammunitions on this uh, we have Lily Chen, who's going to be going into Butterfly Swords. We haven't even looked at, like, Runic Axe yet. So we're, like, we're probably going to be able to fill these decks out with a lot of other things, right? Um, Silas Mars, Marsh with the Fire Axe, Dark Horse, and Skill Set. This one also seems... Why do I only have one copy of Not Without a Fight? I don't know. Um, this is kind of nice. I think so, yeah, this one looks good. We have Arkham Gauntlet. We have Jacqueline Fine. But this Jacqueline's, like, our Mystics could end up turning into Flexes, right? Um, but the Shards of the Void and then, like, Kill Spells. Parallel Agnes using, you know, Kill Events. Dexter Drake, which will eventually go to Cyclopean Hammer. If we cut, uh, like, one of these Mystics, Dexter can take some of the juice. Dexter can take some of the juice from those Mystics to make his early game a bit more consistent. Like, realistically, we want only two kill Mystics, right? Because then that makes our kill Mystics more reliable. Rita Young. I think this one's also really good. I think this one's also really good. Uh, Will York, the ble Bless Will York is really good. I recently played it and it is very good. But the question is of what else we can have right now. Uh, Nathaniel Cho also does seem pretty manageable because he plays with the Guardian Pool in a way that no one else does. I do think Rita is very good now. I think she is very good. I think she's reached her ceiling probably. 
Tony Morgan, he just kills. And then we also have this weird Leo deck with the Knuckle Duster and Reliable. Okay. What of these 11 are probably going to be the lead, the most consistent with the least amount of issues between them? All right. I think I'm going to cut Jacqueline. I think I'm cutting Jacqueline. Jacqueline is dead. Rest in peace, Jackie. Oh, at least as a goon. At least as a goon. She might come back as a fighter. She might so she might come back as a cluver, but she's dead as a goon. Alright, so that solves that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we need to cut one more. I think Agnes, I think Agnes and Lily upgrade differently, though, you know? Dexter with these. If we kill Yorick, we get the short supply can go into, um... The short supply can go into our, our scavenger. Our sca it can go into Daryl Simmons scavenging. Mark gets a bunch of guns. Lily gets a bunch of weapons. Silas Marsh. He's Silas. I think it's Yorick. I think I'm cutting Yorick. Sorry, Yorick, you're dead. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what's happening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-
Knuckle Duster, Machete. You know what, Leo? You are getting the Blackjacks as well. Nathaniel Cho just has his boxing gloves. Nathaniel Cho, realistically, finding the boxing gloves is key, but that's what Randall Cho is for. <laughs> So we basically have three copies of boxing gloves. Everyone knows the whole scary Nathaniel Cho story, right? Um, yeah, I mean, this guy can definitely take, what is it, breach the door? We'll get, we'll get, we'll give it to him. Um... Kicking the Hornet's Nest? Kicking the Hornet's Nest is probably going to go in Trish Scarborough if we get it. Potentially. Kicking the Hornet's Nest is a card that transcends this part of the deck building. This is like, we're probably going to look to get this this deck to like, each of these decks to like 20 cards. And then we're hopping over to our clue, clue getters. Because we don't want to decide on staples until we're like there. Okay, um, all right, you can get one in the chamber, because you are our gun guy, which means you can also get the custom, actually, you know what, one in the chamber could also live with Tony. No, but Tony is going to have, um, physical weapons as well, but we'll see, we'll see. He's taking Venture then? Potentially, potentially. Um, we got to get some more. I think we want to get some more. So the 45 automatics can live here. I don't like them, but they can live here. The 45 automatics might be there for just the beginning. Yeah, Lonnie will probably live in Tony once we get there. Ooh, we also have survival knives. Oh my god. Good news, Blackjack. You're only going to probably be a one of. <laughs> I like this. This is this is great. This is great. Uh, but I do think we still need the Blackjacks just because this guy's probably not going to get any sort of synergy. Sorry, any sort of like card selection in his deck. He's kind of just going to kind of be there. Okay, we have how many copies of Vicious Blow? We have four copies of Vicious Blow. That's tough. That's tough. We're going to sit on that one for a bit, I think. Let's look at Lily, because she's kind of also a guardian. Come over here. Come be with your friends. Give me the Runic Axe. She also wants to do these butterfly swords, but also, like, we just can't kind of just have to, like, let it ride, right? She could run a copy of Bandolier, and then we can give the other Bandolier to Mark Harrigan. Right? You can hold off. That's actually a great point, too. I can hold off on a Runic Axe. I'm down for that. Let's put that in the side deck, then. Then those can replace the knife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Runic Axe, replace, Knife. And then also, or, Dragon Pole. And then we have, what is it? Uh, how Butterfly Swords. The only downside is that we don't, we need, a, I think, one more weapon. <laughs> Potentially. Alright, once again, our goal is we have to kind of get these to 20 cards. 20 cards that we know that only they want. Yeah, 
Okay, I think we have to split the bandoliers. Hmm, yeah, Enchanted Blade's probably good. Yeah. Alright, we gotta look at... The Mystic cards in this. Talisman of Protection, Scrying. Alchemical Transmutation is a possibility. That is true. Poop to Gold could work there. Man, the... The clue getter is going to be tough, I think. The clue getter is is going to be a bit tougher than this, I think. I'm honestly intimidated by the clue getters. Uh, speaking of clue getters, why don't we just put down Norman Withers? Astronomical Atlas. Leo. He can probably take the calling in favors, I think, pretty reliably. But it's still tough. It's still tough. I, I have to just figure out... I have to solve one of these guys. Let's, let's work on Mark until we're done. Custom modifications can go in the Mark deck. Yeah, I think we just got to focus on someone until they're done. These guns work. We just got to get to 20 cards. And when I, when I say done, I mean 20 cards. So yeah, give me Venturer. Give me um, True Grit as well. Is he taking Hallow Weird? Mirror? Potentially, yeah. That's still, that's a long-term thing though. Once again, that's a very good card. Right now we're looking for cards that just fit into this man's home. And this little shit we got going on here. What does Bolus do? Yeah, give me Bolus in the Mark Harrigan deck. I think that's kind of fun. I guess we also figure out what Tony's doing, what Tony's off color is. Tony only has four cards in his deck. Tony, what are you doing? Mark deck without a bunch of healing is a bad time. I actually don't run a lot of healing in my Mark's decks. In the last Mark deck I played, I only played one copy of... I played two copies of... Um, what's it called? Second Wind. That's all I played. There you go, Mark. There's your Relentless. Fills a, fills a gap. Does it commit for a fist? 
It does. Okay, that's good. It commits for a fist. Because once again, we're going to probably be looking at a lot of these cards and saying, how do we... Um... Ooh, Tetsuo also could be really good here. Yeah, Mark, you know what? You might take Tetsuo's. But, you know, Tetsuo, once again, is a late game card. Mark? No, because yeah, that's also a late game card. I think we just got to put it on one of of something. Because I was going to say, Mark, can, Mark will probably get the emergency caches, but... And I mean, like, once we get this kind of done, we can kind of refine it a little bit better. What's Nat Cho at? 14, he needs six more cards to get to the 20 that I want to get him to. Here, Mark, you take the other Intrepid for now. <laughs> just so, just to hold the spot. Just to hold the spot at 20 cards. Just to hold the spot there. Because we also got to look at everybody's economy. Because as you can see, Mark's curve is pretty high. So we're going to adjust this as we get into it and we see it. Okay. Nathaniel Cho. Give me those spirits, baby. Motivational speech can live in the Leo deck. I don't think anyone else is going to want that the way Leo does. You know what? We're even going to give him two copies of Blackjack right now just to make hitting 20 easier. Yeah, so it's this last little bit where things are going to get tricky. We're going to have to put in a lot of cards that we don't want in our decks into our decks. Toe-to-toe -to -toe is going to live in here. Second win is going to live in here. And I think those are the spirits we want to play at least right now. Yeah, I'm down for that. That's, that's a good call. We'll put the sledge in here at sledge zero. I think that's not a bad idea. Yeah. No, that, 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 that's a good call. That's a great call. All right, Nathaniel Cho locked in at 20. Mark Harrigan locked in at 20. So that means, uh, <laughs> uh, just so everybody knows, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Once we have 9, all these locked in at 20, that's only 90 cards we need to add to these decks. Only really 45, but there's still a lot we have to do. It might seem like we're making good progress, but we really aren't. Leo. <sighs> Don't forget to upgrade XP. Yeah. No, we'll get there. That's all good. That's all good. That part's easy. Leo is going to take... take. There's a lot of important cards that we still have to put in here. No one's taking Get Behind Me. I think Leo can probably take a Get Behind Me. There's two relevant symbols on it. Oh yeah, Leo has green cards. What am I doing? Let's look at some green cards. Oh my god. Leo, you're getting Coup de Gras, probably. That actually might go in Tony. You know what? We'll put that in Tony. Take that Coup de Gras. Is Tony using Mauser? Potentially. But actually, now, yeah, no, now Tony gets the Mauser. Because we're doing a physical... We're doing physical gun Leo, right? Like, Leo's guns are all uh, up close and personal. They're not even guns. Leo is an inspiring presence and also, uh, I believe, fighting lessons.
Oh, Mar Tony Morgan. You're going to take the watch this, probably. Watch this, yeah. That's a good call. Trusted would fit very well in here and probably not anywhere else. Yeah, Trusted is nice. Godspeed, Leo. Let God sort them out. Sorry, Tony. I keep calling Tony Leo and Leo Tony. Watch this. I think watch this I'm going to put in Tony. First aid for the Gretas. What's that one card? Emergency aids. What if we do emergency aids for the Greta? All right, we're locking Tony in there at 20. And these can be adjusted once the time comes. But we still have to do our seekers. We still have to do our seekers. And once again, I called Leo Tony again. All right, we don't know our off class yet. Oh, Embezzled Treasure could actually, sorry, sorry. Give me, Embezzled Treasure is probably gonna live in Tony. Sorry, in Leo. Leo Anderson. All right, we need to add eight cards. Are there any other weapons we're not using? Just for some consistency, that's being used. That's probably not the life here. Do we have Dexter? Dexter. I think Leo gets the knives. Tony, God damn it! I think Tony's gonna get some knives. Tony Anderson. Powerful. Oh yeah, Lonnie. Lonnie Ritter, and then we can do uh, coat. Leather coat, not that one. Jacket, it's a jacket. And we can also do heavy furs. We do that. And that just locks this in at 20. And once again, we can adjust when the time... And I mean, also, like, this is going to change, too, because we also have the off-class to do this, which we haven't even decided. So this can be changed. Good job, Tony. You've done it. Lily, I'm not even fucking talking to you yet. We're going to go do some survivors, because survivors make me happy. <laughs> All right, chat. Are you ready to play Oops Level Zero? Burr, 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 burr. Because then Oops 2 can live in this deck in the future. Oops, did I do that? Okay. Uh, no one's using the guns. So, congratulations. You get an 18 Derringer. Salus has the fire axe. Salus is going to be going into chainsaw. Um, do you know what I think we do? We have to figure out. So what are the what are the weapons that that are still left? Me cleaver, no thanks. But maybe because you you potentially are running Pete E Sylvester. Enchanted bow, not nothing. Old hunting rifle, probably not. Uh, the other one is the um fire extinguisher which is not actually a weapon <laughs> i mean it's probably fine oh yeah the ornate bow yeah no one else is gonna want that but then we also have the baseball bat but i mean like consistency isn't bad we'll put it as a one of in the sideboard because i don't think anyone else is gonna want that maybe Maybe if we do Wendy, she's going to want it, but we'll find out.
Hey, Lucky James, how's it going? Hey, damn next, how's it going? <sighs> we have to figure out this fire extinguisher. Who gets fire extinguisher? I can spell. Four extinguisher. Okay, 90 minutes and we're almost mostly done the guardians. Sorry, the, the, the goons. Give me a nice, simple card. Yeah, Scrapper Zero just holds the holds the spot right now, which I think is good. Congratulations, Rita. You're done for now. But your will be adjusted once we get into this. Silas Marsh. The love of my life. We can run to two copies of Not Without a Fight. Uh, even though they're bad at level zero, we are going to run the Opportunists. Because we want to get the upgraded versions. It's, it's too early for the overpowers. We only get four of them. <laughs> we only get four of those. of the we, we, we're, we're not worried about the great stuff right now. We're looking about just like, what can we do to fill space? <laughs> it's probably just another skill, right? I can take Steadfast. We just run like this. Did we use the teddies yet? No, we actually don't have the teddies. The teddies aren't anywhere. So the teddies actually... You know what? Let's do that. I can do... I'll do Cherish Keepsake. Because uh, Yorick's gone. Yorick is dead. Rest in peace. Long live Yorick. Is Resourceful taken yet? Resourceful is probably going to be one of the last cards I put in here. Look at that curve, baby. Alright, now we're to my favorite. The Mystics. <laughs> I love mystics! You're a guardian, Lily, so I'm not actually mad at you. Okay, well this is actually good news because our goons are kind of brought down. Agnes can get away with like, a, what's the first one? Front for this, she is a 9-8-6. So Agnes can probably get away with a shriveling as part of her kit. And that means Dexter, Dexter my boy! You can take... Um, what is it called? Azure Flame! Azur Flame. Yes, I would like Joe Mazur Witch's room. You, Mike, you're probably going to get Arcane Initiate. Azur Flame. This is not a, this is not a kill spell, right? The curse one? Dex with cold vest pocket? Potentially. Potentially, yeah. Oh! Do, 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 do. Give this man the sickle, I think. Chain and Blade. And Chain and Blade's probably going to live in Lily. But Dexter could potentially run the upgraded Enchanted Blade in the side deck. Dex should have Sword Cane? Potentially. Potentially. Yes. That is, yeah. So, yeah. That's that's a Dex gets Sword Cane. I can delete this police badge for Yorick. That can go to hell. <sighs> Hmm. 
Let's look at the rogue, sh rogue side. Hmm. Maybe burglary. It is cheap as hell. We're looking for cheap things. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take the Lone Wolves and Dexter, I think. Ritual Candles for Dex. I'm down for that. We have four copies of Ritual Candles as well, so they're pretty much going out like candy. Oh, honestly, Living Ink could be a good option. Living Ink could be a good option. I think Living Ink has a lot of potential homes, but I think Living Ink in Dexter, because uh, I think Living Ink has a lot of really nice homes for it, potentially. Yeah, so the only reason I'm not, like, slamming Sword Cane into Dexter is because the long-term plan of this deck is Cyclopean Hammer. And realistically, um, is... What is Sword Cane? Sword Cane is a weapon. We don't want two weapons in this deck. So we're actually getting rid of this. Unless we only have two relics? Because like, we don't want more relics. Basically, we want us to be able to tutor the Cyclopean Hammer. Right, that's that's what's important here. I need six more cards. Who gets the rosary? No idea yet, to be honest, actually. We're going to see how else this shapes up. Delves will go into whoever's running Dunwich. Delves is going to go to it if whoever's running Dunwich, if they can run it. It'll be like priority. I think I'm going to give Agnes the robes of Endless Night. Familiar Spirit costs one. Ain't a bad choice, to be honest. I don't think anyone else is going to run it. Let's do it. I think that's that's a good call. That's a good, that's a good call. Give me Blood Pact Zero. No one else is going to even touch Blood Pact Zero. Blood Pact Zero. No one even wants to look at this fucking card. So Dex will take it. Prophesy's not bad. Prophesy's not bad. I think so. I think I'll take the Prophesy in here. I think that's a fair. You can tell we're gonna... It's getting tighter though, chat. It is getting tighter. Dexter, see you in probably uh, two hours. <laughs> oh, there's so much more to do. But I'm saving myself so much stress in the future because all of this, this is just going. It's just going and it'll be done. And then everyone will clap and they'll be like, I can't believe Justin did it. And I'll be like, yeah, I did it. We need eight cards in this Agnes deck. Arcane Initiate, yeah, probably lives here. Uh, no, because I'm playing, um, we're playing Parallel Agnes, and she only has six, uh, she has, she's using her health for, um, 
she's using her health to cast spells. So I don't want I don't want Azure Flame to be taking to be costing me spells that I can cast. It's either well one of them is gonna one of them is gonna take the level zero and one of them is probably gonna take the upgraded one. Evade Hand Doom might be okay. Honestly, that is some hot tech. I'm down for that. That's called the Onyx Pentacle. That's yeah, I'm down for that. Hell yeah. That's no, that's great. That's good call. That's a good call. Nope. <laughs> no thanks. Fuck it, give me ghost form, baby. Give me ghost form. And I do think that she is probably the best user of power word, right? So she'll take the power word. And then that just gets us to 20. That gets us to 20. And we can say, see you in a bit once we're into the final stages of this. So we're going to take the alchemical transmutation here just because it uh, is a spell slot that we can fill up. I got to figure out my guardian cards. We have room for uh, three more, which is probably, this intrepid's probably going to change. Oh no, we're in the weeds. We're in the weeds, chat. No one took B Cop? Not yet. Not yet. B Cop is a. B Cop is when we come back and we look at it at the end, right? So B Cop is like one of the special ones that it might change uh, other people's decks. Nothing is set in stone yet. You're telling me I can play Grievous Wound in this deck? Yeah, I guess we ought to ask who Lily's ally is going to be, right? I don't know why people are saying, oh no, we're probably going to need to run shitty cards in these decks, just so everybody knows. We're going to need to run... This commit... This is an overpower. This... When you look at this card, you see an overpower with upside. That's what this is in this challenge. Yeah, I don't think anyone else is going to... Well, we got to figure out this. Upside? Yeah. It can potentially kill something. <laughs> she might need B-Cops? She might need B-Cops. She has five fists, though. Like, she has five fists. Yeah, I think we gotta do Mystic. So we can come back and look at the Guardian once we see. Just gotta put some cards in here. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually gonna call a quick little audible. And we're gonna we're gonna sit down. We're gonna have Lily sit to the side for right now. And we're gonna we're gonna jump into our into our clue getters. So let's grab Daisy. We're gonna go Trish. We're going to go Finn Edwards. Even though they're very similar, they're both very good. They're both very good. 
We're going to go a new deck. I would like Daryl Simmons. He's probably going to be my scavenger. Who's this? This is Trish. Uh, this is Finn Edwards. Daryl Simmons. Honestly, yeah, I think Carolyn Fern's just going to make the cut, potentially, just because she's going to have a pool of cars to take advantage of. Um, Grandma? Yeah, I think Grandma's going to make the cut. I need four more from my list. Okay. Yeah, we could run some... We could do someone else with Scavenge. We also need a Mystic... Norman Withers? Grandma could go Guardian and take all the encounter deck searching. It's true. It's true. The Mystics are going to be so tough, though. Yeah, and I think we're going to get Rex. <laughs> yeah. We're going to grab Harvey. We're going to do Big Hand Harvey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need two more. I think Norman and Stella. Oh, yeah, well, we also have Preston. There's also Preston. I forgot about Preston. And also Ashcan Pete. Oh, but Ashcan Pete really wants some Survivor cards. But we only have one Survivor here so far. And that's Daryl. Daryl! I think it's Stella. I think it's Stella, though.
Yeah, and I, I think our last one should be some sort of seeker. It's probably Min, right? It's probably Min scavenge. Is Stella good without scavenging? Stella ain't scavenging. Stella ain't gonna be scavenging. It's probably Min scavenging. Daryl then can do evidence and clue putting down. And Min is also... Min is also 0-5 Seeker, which we need to explore that card pool. And then we have only one Mystic Clue Getter, which is fine, because we can shift some of our Clue Getters into, um, into Flexes. So yeah, it's going to be my girl, Minty Fan. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so one, we got a Minty Fan Scavenging deck, a Stella Clark, Clark Tested Zero deck, we have a Harvey Walters Big Hand deck, we have a Rex Murphy, I'm Rex Murphy deck, we have Daisy Walker dot deck, uh, she's going to be clue getting, um, she's going to be just uh, research, old book of lore research, Trish Scarborough, Trish, Finn Edwards, Finny Boy, uh, Daryl Simmons is going to be evidence and clue getting, or clue putting down, and then we got Grandma to do a bunch of stuff. I think this is a good composition of characters that we can look at and do some stuff with. Well, why don't we start with um, our min deck? Because there's a lot of pieces that are going to be easy to put in there. All right, we're going to grab Professor William Webb. And we're going to grab um, Scavenging. So Min is also going to get a copy of Short Supply. So Min is going to eventually work up into the Ice Picks. Min is going to want to play the Winging It. And Min is also going to look to be playing Glimmers of Hope. Beautiful. Schaffners will probably end up living in Min. But once again, that's a late one. We have four copies of Look What I Found, which is really nice. We have four copies of Look What I Found, which is really nice. Okay. Min, you sit on this for a little bit, okay? You sit on this. We got the core of the deck in, at least like the starting points that we know no one else is going to want. Uh, Harvey, you're going to be pretty easy. Give me Daisy, please. Is Min lucky? Probably not. Min kind of has a lucky built into her kit. All right. Daisy Walker. Give me Astounding Revelation. Shocked Rabbi. Give me some old book of lores. Give me some research librarians. Everyone's got to upgrade. If, a, if you are a seeker, you will upgrade something. So congratulations, here is your dream diary. Two copies of Shrewd Analysis, chat. Two copies of Shrewd Analysis. Let's go!
So that means someone else can get a shrewd analysis. Awesome. These decks are practically building themselves. Yeah, I agree. Winning green is probably great here. No one else is going to want that ally the way she does. Okay, put those in the side deck, baby. Save this for right now. Who's getting Fat Man? Great question. Probably Rex Murphy, to be honest. Probably Rex Murphy. Okay. Alright, give me the Trish and Finn. Because these are the two that are going to have the most cross-contamination. And I say that with nothing but love. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Trish is definitely getting the damning testimony. A lot of power exists in that card. Trish... Trish is gonna... One of these has to start with lockpicks zero. They both get lockpicks one, though, because we actually have uh, four copies of lockpicks one. Which is kind of sick. We have four copies of lockpicks one. That's huge. That's huge. And we also have four copies of Lucky Cigarette Case. But really, the only one that matters is we want Lucky Cigarette Case. Trish is getting Lucky Cigarette Case 3. It basically nullifies her weakness, which is really good. Um, our friend Rex Murphy is probably also going to walk away with some copies of Lucky Cigarette Case. And I also, yeah, I'm down for Grim Memoir. I think Rex is going to get, like, the most basic stuff, I think. Rex is going to kind of just get, like, what's left, right? All right, back to our friends. What's the Finn's splash going to be? Mariner's Compass. Potentially, if we're not doing big money with him. We're going to do big money with one of these two people. We're going to do big money with one of them. I think Trish is better big money, by the way, chat. Because she can run into... Because um, isn't there the one? the What's it fucking called? Hot Streak. Finn can't play this shit. No one's used any of the Edge of the Earth spells, so we might be able to change up our... We might be able to go to Jacqueline and leave uh, What's-Her-Nuts in the dirt. That could be a good change. That could be a good change. Daryl! Daryl. Now 
Maybe one day I'll be able to play the Daryl I truly want to play. <laughs> Uh, William T. Mailson. You know what? Let me just Arkham do. Let me just go open up the visual spoiler for uh, Scarlet Keys and just put a bunch of these cards in here. Yeah, research notes. You can take the Captivating Discovery. It's yours, brother. Press pass. Ooh, what if we do with our boy, Sexy Rex Murphy? Let's give him the fingerprint kits. Key ring. Get the old key rings. Three on lock. Give me the quick learners on standby. Give me the gumptions. Uh, we'll take the exploit weaknesses because that would be where these can live. And we'll take the shed of lights. You're going to be getting the flash. You're going to be the first person who gets flashlight of them because we actually have 10 copies of flashlight. Didn't Silas already have gumptions? I don't think so let's check though he does not have the gumptions no no snow gumptions for for silas uh the flashlight threes are definitely coming here yep a hundred percent a hundred percent oh wrong spot for you by the way Uh, Lucky Rabbit. Sorry, just Rabbit's Foot. It ain't Lucky, yo. Not you. Because you're the only one who realistically wants it. So, I mean, we, I think we have four copies of Rabbit's Foot. So, it's it's a it's a deck filler if we need it. Yeah, the Red Grizzly is very good for Stella. Um, she's take, definitely taking a look what I found, because we have four of those. So we have two look what I found left, so let's just remember that. Um, and then we are going to run two of our four take hearts, because they play best in Stella. Can you hear me, Yella? Grit your teeth! Stella! Let's go. Excuse me, I burped. She is a very good granny user. Right, congratulations, Stella. We're just going to sit here for a tiny bit. We're just going to sit there for a little bit. The Stella deck's coming together nicely, though. Harvey, my boy! Give me two of these in the sideboard. All right. Harvey, you make a hamburger a beautiful thing.
Maybe Arcane Enlightenment. Just for the hand size. No, 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 no. You get Dream Enhancing Serum. That's yours, baby. You take the juice that enhances the dreams. Who's going to get the Pokemon Multitool? No idea yet. No idea. Um, Harvey. Harvey. Harvey the Wonder Hamster. He doesn't bite. He doesn't school. He just runs around his hamster wheel. Oh my, that just hit me. Does anyone know that song from Weird Al? That one's a classic. Harvey. Yeah, no, I am losing it. I am losing my mind for sure. All right, what's our researched thing? Oh, the laboratory assistant. Yeah, laboratory assistant can live here. Uh, we have four copies of laboratory assistant as well, so. You can take the curiosities. Daryl. Okay, what are the research shit? Let's look at the leveled cards, because that'll do it. So we got Ancient Stone. That's one of them, but that's a that's a level one. That's an experienced one. The archaic glyphs. We could run that. Man, how good is the title of this video going to be for like getting eyes on it? One collect eighteen decks built with one collection. Oh my god. So it probably can't be the glyphs because those end up taking uh, spell slots. There is the bad ones, the hand size ones. What are those called? Damn forbidden tomes. The damn book. These cards are so bad. But we don't get the privilege... <laughs> Of saying no. We don't get that privilege, chat. We don't. We don't get that privilege. Sometimes we have to say yes. There's two of each. Okay, you might get the shrewd analysis. Yeah, we're going to have to run some bad cards just like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, no, see, I'm, I'm listening to past Justin. We don't get the privilege of saying no here. We say yes and give me another one. That's what we say in this. <sighs> but, like, this is the exception. There are no exceptions to the rules here. There are no exceptions. We must play them. Those are the rules. Anyways, what do you took archive of conduits? No, Daisy's gonna be taking an archive of conduits, baby. Because Daisy can find the one of, she'll have a better chance of finding a one of in her deck. Oh yeah, he's gay. he's taking a call. He's taking hand size killer. The upgraded ones aren't tomes, unfortunately. That's fine. We can grab it, and then we're we have we're an old book of lore research deck. We can find what we need. 
We can translate it easier than anyone else can, though. Alright, what are they upgrade into? Move the ley line from this asset to a non elite enemy. She could take the Profana instead? I don't think so. It's very expensive. It's an option, but I don't think so. The reason I, I like the Profana is that it also helps, you know, foot investigators. And movement investigators. This can this kind of does that as well, but we can get two for the price of one. Rex. You're taking everything else. <laughs> you get everything else, brother. You get the... Uh... What are the other research cards? Okay. Ancient Stone, that's one we have to put in later. Rex, it's yours. <laughs> no, no, your hand slots are full. Yeah, you get the Acidic Icker. Strange Solution. And the Archaic Glyphs. I smell something burning. Chat, I'm going to go make sure my house is not on fire, so I'm going to just pause the video. I like that idea. Ravenquill with Forbidden Tome. Oh, no, but you have to do when you have to upgrade into it, right? That's above my pay grade right now. <laughs> okay. Rex. I like Daryl's deck, Red Investigator with no red. Yeah, it's working. It's going pretty good, isn't it? It is going pretty good. <clears throat> okay. I think we're going to give Daisy the Archaic Glyphs. <clears throat> yeah, surprise I'm fine for sure. He's going to live in here. Probably. So I think it's because if I remember... So does this actually still work this way? Where... um. So it says after the third secret is placed on this, uh, with Astounding Revelation, it's placed a secret on an asset you control. That can work to translate the Archaic Glyphs, right? Is that still totally okay? Good. Because, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a very easy thing to kind of just figure out. And then we got Guiding Stones. That's really good. <laughs> we have Prophecy for Toad. For Toad, not for Toad. I'm just going to keep eating Altoids for my lunch chat. As we as we work through 18 decks and I get more and more deranged. Ah! Yeah, I mean, like, this is the best one, so I think we just don't, um... She doesn't take the Shrewd, either. 
she doesn't take the shrewd. All right, what other tomes are there? There's a... Encyclopedia. It's not bad. Medical text is a tome. Yes, Chad, I'm having another Altoid. Okay. Scroll of Secrets realistically should probably be in Min, right? And because we're running the Scroll of Secrets and Min, that means she can do my least favorite thing in the game, which is play Fortuitous Discovery. <laughs> no, it's no. No, why? Why? But we have to. We have to. It, it just works perfectly here. Save that shit. Yeah, Granny will probably get Scroll. The upgrade, the other upgraded one. We haven't even opened up Granny yet. Gran Granny's fine. Don't worry about Granny. She's gonna be okay. Shockingly low on skills and min. Ain't that the truth? That's okay. A lot of the skills are on the on the premium side, so. Cause I think so far, unless I'm wrong. There's the spreadsheet here that unless I'm wrong, the only person who has seen a skill in the base game is Manual Dex and Rita, I'm pretty sure. Stella! <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, we also the yeah the practice makes perfect still has to find a home, and I'll tell you where that home's gonna be, baby. It's right here, with Sex Murphy. That's fucking stupid. Oh my god. I need to drink some water. We need to get some water going to my brain. Man, what the fuck does this do? Oh, that's the curse one. Poopy. <clears throat> okay. Where are we? Who are we? What am I doing? Trish. Trish, my friend. Trish. All right. So one of you gets the lock picks and one of you gets, um, Trish is going to be big money. Well, let's do a big money Trish deck because it's very fun to play and it's, it's a good deck. Um, so she's going to get well connected. She's going to get thieves kit. She's going to get Dario. She's going to get Dario El Amin. She's going to do it. Money does talk. Money doesn't talk right now, though. Money talk will probably make it, but I'm not going to do money talks yet. The Mesel Treasure could live there. I know I have it in... Right now I have the note that it's going to be in... Leaf, but I might put it in Trish. Or Trish? Excuse me. I got, no, I got some hiccups. Um, kicking the hornet's nest is really good. Breaking and entering is really good. Well, because she's getting the thieves kit, that means our friend, uh, you can get lockpick zero. And I think we probably want to give her... Pff, 
the cigarette case is zero, the other one. And burglary can have a great home here. Hell yeah. And Chad, I'm doing everything in my power to not make this just a fucking parallel skids deck. Because the problem is the parallel skids deck would turn into... Um, would turn into an underworld support deck. Um, and uh, it would lead to bad things. Burglary audience decks, I'm pretty sure I cut it. Because I said we might see it in the future. Yes, and I did. Perfect. It's not in there. Who gets our magnifying glasses? Yeah, it's probably Sex Murphy. You're right, Chrysler. <laughs> it is probably Sex. But, I mean, like, he has two good hand slot items. I think they all do, right? Hand slots. Min. <laughs> Some hand slots. But he also has five book. Brexable uses the best, right? This is, this is a lot of work on my brain. This is a lot of work on my brain. So we can make skids, sorry, we can make Finn a little bit built around skills. Because no one else is going to want to like take advantage of some of these green skills, I think. Do, is that the ultimate uh, Daredevil chat? Do we put this in our deck? It is a one-of? <laughs> Do we put this as a one-of in our Daredevil deck? Have some fun with it? Uh, we're going to take Copycat. Finn can run with the um, Hatchet Man. And honestly, Finn's also going to take the 25. Finn is going to flex a little bit. Which means we need Delilah O'Rourke. Thank you very much, m'lady. Trish, you're going to be taking the cunnings. Friends in Little Places for Finn? Probably, but that one is, that one's going to lead us to, like, that's a, one, of, one of the ones where I'm going to wait a little bit to decide on that one. What's the Hone Instinct? That's a good card, right? That's a great card. We can't put it in Trish, so it's going to go into Finn then. Right? It could also go into Tony. It could also go into Tony. But Finn also can't upgrade it that far, right? Because he can only put six check marks on this. So it's probably not Finn either. Curse you, Finn's deck building. Hmm. Hmm. 
We have the pickpocketing we need to divvy out as well. I think uh, Finn is going to take the pickpocketing just because he needs the juice. Finns are also going to get the Tennessees, I think. And Finn is also going to get the... Um, which one of these do we want? The upgraded. Plus three deal, plus one. Yeah, that's probably better. <laughs> yeah, we want the this one. Bing. Um... Finn, I'm gonna I'm calling it right now. Finn is getting the U handle this one, I think. That's that's for our boy Finn. Oh yeah, narrow escape is good in Trish. So Trish is gonna get narrow escape. And Trish is also going to get the breaking and entering. I think we can put it there. I think... I'm going to just make a note. I think I'll probably get some flashlights. I think Finn's gonna run some waylays. Finn is also gonna take active desperation, I think. And with Agatha Desperation, flashlights are easy. This is looking increasingly like a clue deck. Finn has four fucking book. <laughs> like, that's a clue deck right there. Finn is just like a, a beautiful flex. And give me a one of map the area, I think. Nice. The fin deck is then set. This is a this is a beautiful looking fin deck. We can close it out with a few of the uh, the others. I'm very happy with that. That's very nice. Good job, Finn. You can rest for right now. Okay. We're jumping around like crazy, but it's all part of the process. Daryl, you got to get some red cards. Every we haven't even looked at Grandma. <laughs> All right, let's look at Grandma. So she gets Alyssa Graham. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. She gets Right of Seeking. Grandma, you're probably going to get... You're probably going to get our two um, arcane researches. Read the signs. Read the signs are currently unavailable. Hello, this is Read the Signs. I'm currently not. I'm not available at the moment. Can you come back in the future? Six cents, baby. Let's go. 
why don't you give me sign magic in this deck? Sign magic probably will live here. The problem is we, we need spells to upgrade. Otherwise... All right, and then we look for the stuff that says look. Oh no, Scrying is in uh, Lily right now, isn't it? Why exactly 18? 18? It's so I can play uh, every camp. I'm playing an entire <clears throat> um, campaign. Like I'm playing every campaign with one collection. The Scrying can leave Lily. So let's just make a note of that. Scrying in Lily versus Gloria. Yeah, and I think the plan to give her the Guardian stuff that looks is probably pretty good. Because what else is there in that? It says, look. Is that it? There's got to be more than First Watch, right? on the hunt <laughs> look for an enemy yeah so yeah you know what? i'm actually gonna put a pin in this for right now this might turn into a rogue one all right back to the mystic side Let's look at spells that we want to upgrade. Deny Existence is a good card, but it's probably not what we want here. I gave Power Word to somebody. Because I believe I gave that to... Did I give that to Agnes right now? Or is that in Dexter? Alright, we're taking it out of Agnes, I think, for the time being. This Agnes deck is actually probably going to see a, a big rehaul. It might even become a whole new investigator. We might move back to um, Jacqueline. We might move back to Jacqueline. And you are getting Power Word because we can use advantage of that. Yeah, Dream Eaters. Four investigators. Four. So two, four, six, eight, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, and Raptured is probably going to live here over the Daisy one. St. Hubert's key for Grandma. Yeah, Grandma can take the key. Grandma's going to need some money. Grandma's deck is very expensive. I think... We haven't used any of the uh, Edge of the Earth spells yet, so we have to use those eventually. Daryl! We're back to you, brother. You need some red cards. Silas, 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 Silas. Motivational speech is gone.
Yeah, we all have these dilemmas too. Things are certainly going to be a little bit spicy. Trish, I got to finish you. Let's finish you. Trish is probably getting the Faustians, yeah, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not, once again, those are, uh, those are once we get to the end of this. Trish, you're taking investments. Watch this is taken, watch this is taken. What do you mean, you? Investments is a is a great placeholder for the unscrupulous loan. They kind of do the same kind of thing, just one's a level zero card and one's a broken level three card. Nimble? Nimble is good. Nimble will probably find a home eventually. But I think this isn't it. Give me... Give me the embezzled treasure. I think we're going to call that here. All right, Trish, rest in peace, soldier. We'll see you in a bit. I know it contains too few cards. Okay. Oh, my God. There is still so much to do. Holy crap. Holy crap. Foresight. Forewarned, is that another one? No, that's a yellow card. I think realistically, Min is going to need the Schaffners. So I think we could put that in here. She'll do the best with it. What Min really needs, though, is Min needs some... She needs some book boost. Otherwise, the shot, the scavenging is going to be a little bit tricky. She needs a tool belt. Oh, what was the... I have to play with that card. What was the damage tier list? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing with every card in 2023. It's going swimmingly so far. It's going swimmingly. This is certainly going to help with it. This is certainly going to help with it. But yeah, it's my goal for uh, 2023. Gio Chiata Avaliota. Apologies if I butchered that, but thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. You can take the Solano Fragments, brother. They're yours. You probably get the cryptographic cipher. She needs skills, yo. All right, I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, Min, you get a you get two of the four perceptions. How do you not burn out with Arkham with how much you play it? Because the game's fun. The game's fun, and I'm not jaded. <laughs> it's like one of those things where I'm uh, I I have fun just playing it, right? It's just a good time. It's a great game. And I like to experiment and try new things with it. That's what makes it so fun for me. Min's done. Bye, Min.
Daisy. We're at tomes. I think, yeah, the encyclopedia is fine. We probably actually want the Arcane Enlightenment in this deck, just because it gives us more hand slots. I also think we're going to have a bit of fun, and I'm going to play the advanced version of both of these things. Because the advanced version is more fun. Astromia is right here. Stone Cold Stunfisk. Already down in the side deck. this in here and yeah i'll take the scroll of prophecies i think maybe it is a good card no i only want to play good campaigns for this so no knight of the zealot today Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She can take the Eurekas for sure. All right, Daisy, see you in a bit. See you in a bit, Daisy. It's been great knowing you. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five more decks to put a few dozen more cards in. All right, let's finish up Harvey, and then we'll give Rex everything else. Hand. You know what, Rex? You're actually going to get higher education zero. Yeah, extensive research is easy. Who's your ally? I think I'm going to give you Fat Man. So that means you can take Lab, you can take Art Student. Oh yeah, Cryptic Writings is that other hand size one. Good call. And then that means you're probably also going to get the Miskatonic Archaeology funding. Okay, you are also going to get the Bizarre Diagnosis, because that can kind of help with your weakness a little bit. And I think I'm actually even probably just maybe we'll drop down Medical Student. All right, Harvey. 
Rest in peace, I think? There's not a lot of cards here that just live in his hand, but in theory... In theory, that's okay. We I mean, we still have 10 cards to put in here, but I think we'll just leave this right now. Harvey, congratulations. Harvey's also just here because he's 5-book, and he can play cards that other people won't. See you later, Harvey. Rex, my boy. You know what's kind of funny? No one's chosen Practice Makes Perfect yet. Isn't that a little bit strange? Does anyone else find that a little bit strange? So you get the other perception, the overpower. Looks great. So Rex got the last perceptions. The only thing is, I, I think this deck's not going to upgrade that well. I also need to, if I ever upgrade out this higher education... <clears throat> Uh-oh. Oh, but someone had made a good point for the emergency cash, too. Or emergency cash, three, for the supplies. Let's put that there. How do you even keep track of the collection? I'm thinking in my head right now. <laughs> I'm thinking about it all in my head. I think Gloria is going to get the Enraptureds. And I think due to Gloria's money situation, she is going to get the Uncage of the Soul. Okay. Daryl. Daryl, what are you going to get? Forewarned? Isn't that an experience card? I can't even put it... The, I'm worried about the level 0 deck right now. I mean, it's a good card, but I'm worried about this level 0 deck. You are a 6-8, right? You can take the bandages, maybe. It probably needs like some events, right? Leather coat, I think is leather coat anywhere else? I don't think leather coat is anywhere else. I'll go in the leather coat. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Uh, give me Vantage Point. It's not a good card, but it'll do its job. We still have another Look What I Found to give out as well. 
We can't forget that. I think I'm going to put the making preparations in to become the nature of the beast. Min can take Signum Crucis. Yeah, Signum Crucis hasn't gone anywhere. I think I'm going to put in this persuasion. <clears throat> Just so we can get the deck. Wing and its are in use. Wing and its are in the min deck. Okay. Four more cards in the Stella deck, and then I'm going to quickly get something to eat to refresh my brain. Let me hear you. I, I'm on the last deck. I'm on the last deck to get to 20 cards, and then we're going to pair them up. And then we're going to pair them up and figure out the other things. Yeah, Granny Orn can live in Stella. There's no one else who wants Granny. Yeah, Lantern reduces Shroud. Perfect. Okay, yes, yes, we've done it. Uh, but we've not actually done it. Because we actually are going to kill this um, Agnes deck. Rest in peace, soldier. She has the shriveling. And Dexter has the Azure Flame. Okay. So she gets the brand and the shriveling. She is going to get. Guts. She's going to grab Arcane Studies 0. Hmm. Yeah, the Arcane Initiate lives here. Binders jar. I can't. Up, I can't upgrade into Binders jar. Yeah, she needs the voice of Ra. She is probably going to take the Tempt Fates as well. She can still run the Ritual Candles. Because we have four ritual candles. 
Dark Prophecy, which one's that one? Yes, that one's good. Uh, she can still run Olive. And we are going to pay a bit of a premium for these Shards of the Void. Perfect, we'll come back to that one. Okay, chat. I will be back. I'm just going to go grab a quick uh, bite to eat. Just I'm going to go eat a little tin of tuna. And then uh, let's, uh, we'll finish this off. We'll finish this off. We'll, we'll finish the decks and then finalize their upgrades and it'll be incredible. Oh, sorry, YouTube. I forgot to pause the video. It's going to be a second for you, YouTube. Don't go anywhere. All right. Let's find out where our pairings are going to go. Um... Who's going to need the least experience? Rex isn't misspelled? No, it isn't. No, that's exact. That's it. That's the new. Uh, that's the new hero of the day. <clears throat> okay, who's gonna need the least experience? Min looks pretty low. Min looks pretty low on this. <laughs> Nathaniel Cho is also looking pretty low at least in the workshopping so far <clears throat> Rex's is also I mean like we still have to like look at it more but we kind of have to look at like the plan oh yeah we have to upgrade one two punch over here that's right yeah I mean, I don't know if stick to the plans going in Nathaniel Cho. We don't. We we are. We, we haven't finalized the decks fully yet. There's still. I can see Daisy going into this one. Uh, because Daisy can run Delve too deep. And also... Um, she can also run Deny Existence for the 10 damage one. Right? Because Daisy can run Deny and Delve. However, Grandma and Jacqueline can also do that. And they have the things that care about upgrades. Oh, the thing I've never seen go off? Oh, you should wait for a video coming out on our channel in February because it does go off. Twice even, I think. Yeah, I think Grandma could be good in Dunwich. So it's Oasis and Grandma's Power to Dunwich. I actually think the opposite. I think Dunwich actually has some of the... It has a lot of very soft encounter cards, but it also has some of the encounter cards that hurt hit the hardest.
we talk about Dream Eaters have the easiest decks in the world. <laughs> Dream Eaters have the easiest uh, encounter decks in the world. I have no idea who to send into this. I mean, realistically, we can send, like, a goon who's not going to draw through their deck a bunch. So, like, Leo Anderson. We can send Leo and Daisy. Oh yeah, Leo's rocking man. I mean, honestly, the the birds aren't too tough. The birds aren't too tricky. We could do uh, Daisy and Tony. I think that that could be fine. Daisy and Tony through there. Let God sort them out works with the uh, uh, conglomeration of spheres. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do uh, Tony and Daisy in... Uh, what weakness is Leo getting? Tree hands. Yeah, it's tree hands. All right, so that that I think is like one of the harder decisions to make because it's dependent on that. Carcosa, while lower, still gets good experience. In Forgotten Age, we're gonna want people who can uh, evade. We're gonna want people who can evade. So Rita is probably a good option in the Forgotten Age. I think I'm going to do maybe Rita and Rex. Maybe. What if we do... What if we actually do Finn and Grandma? No, Finn and Jacqueline. We do Finn and Jacqueline for this one. Maybe. I want to do someone who can play Mystic 
in uh, Forgotten Age because we can give them a uh, string of curses or whatever that card's called. So it's either going to be Jacqueline or Grandma. Or Rex with two of his splashes being string of curses. Or Lily. Lily is a fighter. No, but I think I think I actually want Lily for um, Scarlet Keys. I think we want Lily and Scarlet Keys. All right, I'm going to do uh, Grandma and Silas, I think, for that one. That covers a lot of ground there. That covers a lot of ground. Silas is also very good at City of Archives. Time roller, how's it going? <clears throat> All right. I think I am going to throw Rita into F Circle and Done. Rita's really good there. And at this point now, it's pretty standard, I think. Sorry, Lily, you're done. You've made your choice, your Scarlet Keys. I'm going to put Dexter, so on Dream side. I'm going to put Dexter on the Dream side. It's He'll handle that very well. I think I want to put Leo into Innsmouth. I just feel like he can take a good advantage of uh, what's-his-nuts. The guy with the car. So I still, where do I still need goons? I still need goons in Carcosa, Edge of the Earth, and Dream Eaters. Oh yeah, no, that's a good point. <laughs> Yeah, we don't, uh, what does Jacqueline use for her hand slots? Just ritual candles? Yeah, Jacqueline. You're probably gonna do Carcosa, but there is Big Butt Baby. But I mean, Nathaniel only uses his boxing gloves, which are pretty easy to put back out. But definitely not Mark there. Which means... 
I think I'll put Mark into this, and I'll put Jacqueline into Edge of the Earth. Edge of the Earth. I think um, Edge of the Earth is tighter on time. It's tighter on time, and Jacqueline can ensure the tests are passed more. All right, goons are done. Kluvers can kind of just like go where I feel like they're their best. Jacqueline and Finn, maybe. Going back to what I just said though where it's tight on time. Um, Finn is not really built to be tight, like to be good at that kind of thing. In this deck anyway. So I think him and Jacqueline are just gonna, like they're, like the tempo that I would have gained from Jacqueline passing tests is gonna just, I just, I don't know. He seems a little bit slow. He's very good in the last scenario, though. That is true. That is true. Oh, yeah, Jacqueline's actually awful in that scenario. You know what? I'm, I'm switching Jacqueline, probably. Leo. Jacqueline's coming here. I think we're doing that instead. Maybe not. It's tough. It's tough. It's all doable. That's the thing, right? Like, any of these combinations are doable. It's just also with the limited collection, we kind of want to make sure we're good. Yeah, Thomas gives book and foot. No, he gets fist and foot. Hmm. I'm down with Harvey and Carcosa. That's easy. The two monocolors in Carcosa. Eleanor Harper is intelligence in foot. Say no more. Which episode is a good use of Henry Wannon? No, it's coming out next week. Next Friday. The finale of uh, our blind play of... Um... Scarlet Keys is this Friday. Alright, who are the investigators I feel the worst about? I think I'll put Stella with Mark. I'm down for that, yeah. We'll do Rex in this one. Yeah, that's a good point. Min is probably the best of these for Circle Undone. Yeah, I'll try Fan and Edge of the Earth. Why not? I'll do... Um, Trish and then Daryl? Like this? I'm not worried about anything in this game anymore. The only thing that scares me is Big Butt Baby and the Gug in the opening scenario of Dream Eaters. That was, those, that's the only thing that's, that gives me fear anymore in this game.
Okay, so now chat. What we need to do is we need to figure out all of the good cards that I have not used yet. All the cards that I said I'm going to solve this problem later. Because <laughs> it is now later and we have to figure those out. That's a lot of tabs I just opened. <laughs> Who gets warder protection? Probably Jacqueline, right? Probably Jacqueline gets warder protection. Just getting them all open. Okay. So yeah, let's start with warder protections. Easy peasy. And then, I mean, I'll put the warder protections too in here because we want to be able to upgrade. And then we just got to find grandma because I think grandma... In a perfect world, she's going to get the Board of Protections in her uh, sideboard. But we also still want Arcane Research. Oh yeah, we actually haven't decided who gets down the rabbit hole yet. Both of our Mystics don't have it. It is supposed to be Jacqueline. Because I don't think Grandma has it yet. Yeah. No, she has the Arcane Research. So, who is playing in the Dream Eaters? Alright, so neither of our our, uh, our purples are. So, Grandma is going to get Deny Existences. Oh, no, no. The Deny Existences were meant for Daisy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Could you not split the Word of Protection to one time to spread them across the campaigns? Uh, no, because that'll ruin my inconsistency even more. Yeah, I wanted to give the denies to Daisy. Do you know what I think we do? Do you know what I think we do, chat? Then we take the Arcane Research out of this. And we put it all in on Jackie. We have the Arcane Initiates in this deck. We do have the Arcane Initiates in this deck. Okay, okay. Oh, War Machine, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. It's a pleasure to have you. Welcome to the Golden Table. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we probably, I mean, if we're doing the trauma, we run Fearless, right? And then we can run Fearless 2. Starting campaign for trauma? Tra Trauma's nothing, chat. Trauma's nothing at this point in the game. Thank you, Dresmillion. I ain't scared of trauma. We also, in this one, we actually also have partners. So we can potentially use them for Soak as well if need be, right? Because she's Edge of the Earth. She 
She's paired with Finn. Okay, okay, okay. We can also drop the divination. We can drop the divination and we put in an earthly serenity one of instead. And I think that is covered for our horror. We drop the div, which means that this div can now come in here. And I actually don't think we need a bigger one than this one. We can just run this and they're basically deductions. I'm for it. I'm for it. Yeah, I love it. So now in theory, we're saving so much XP on upgrades that uh the earthly the sorry the shards of the void won't be too bad no i don't think I, I think fingerprint's a good card it's just absolutely not my play style but i i think it'd be it'd be wrong to say it's a it's a bad card because i think it's good all right jacqueline you are gonna get the ropes You're going to get the upgraded Guts. You're going to get the upgraded Shrivelings. Probably just this one. And then Brand of Cathuga 4. And Earthly Serenity. I already have it. And she needs a one of. Uh, sorry, no, these should be in the side deck. She'll need three more cards. <laughs> She'll need three more cards. E-cash? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have ten E-caches to give out. Let's look at the curve. Let's look at the curve, shall we? It ain't a cheap deck. It ain't a cheap deck, but it's also actually not crazy expensive. But it ain't cheap. Upgrades. Upgrades don't really change it that much. Okay, we should look for something else that upgrades. I don't think anyone else wants this. On Cage of Souls already taken in Grandma currently. I think we want a spell. A spell that we can upgrade. Oh, she doesn't have, no one has Holy Rosaries. That's the other thing we don't have. So we want the uh, Crystal Pendulum. And 
And I suppose I can go down to a one of of these. Does Dark Prophecy upgrade? All right, I'm going to go to a one of Dark Prophecy, I think. Okay. Jacqueline Fine. Shunk is done. She might get further changes as we see what else comes up, but that is Jacqueline Fine finished. Okay. Yeah, her curve's not too bad. Her curve doesn't scare me too much, to be honest. Is anyone holding knife hands? No, no one's holding knife hands currently. I'm probably going to give that to our friend Dexter Drake. Dexter is going to need some economy. <laughs> Why am I typing Dexter Drake in there? Uh, Spectral Razor. We also don't have a read the signs, but the read the signs can go in our friend Gloria. Dexter needs it for the gug. Oh god, Ge Dexter's on gug duty? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, we'll, we'll call him the guginator, amen. Oh god, Dex, can you handle the gug? You know, maybe we just won't get the gug, right? Maybe we just won't get the gug. Who's Dex paired with? Trish! Oh, that's a good pair. Trish is great. He needs the Rosary. Is he my only other Mystic? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, so then Dex gets Rosary. Good job, Dex. You won. Ooh, look at all these assets, chat. That's exciting. Alright, Dex is gonna grab Dex is getting an emergency cash. Eight e cash remaining. Grandma, because you have Uncaged the Soul 0, you get Uncaged the Soul 3. Congratulations. Backpack? No. I don't think so. Okay. Jacqueline, I can close, right? Jacqueline's done? Yeah, Jacqueline's done. All right, Jacqueline, Godspeed. See you on the other side. 17 decks to go, chat. 17 decks to go. All right, why don't we decide who gets resourceful? I don't think it's Rita. It might be Silas. I don't think it's Min. It's definitely not Daryl. All right, Silas. Uh, Stella? Let me hear you yell, Stella. Okay. So with Stella, what's Stella playing through? 
Oh, that one. We have to divvy out our luckies too. How many luckies do we got? So we have a lucky zero, a lucky two, and a lucky three, which we can divvy out among our survivor investigators. Yeah, it does seem good. It's I think it's between Stella and Silas for me. It would be Min, but like the only thing I really want to bring back is um going to be the uh, sharp vision once we get it in our deck. Scavenging if it gets discarded. Ain't honestly ain't worried about that. That does not concern me that much. Because I have an even chance of not drawing scavenging than I do. Sharp Vision is not an Amanda. I am not playing Amanda. Also, she can't play it, unfortunately. I understand the joke you're saying, though, the Sharp Vision. Amanda Sharp and Sharp Vision. It's actually probably Stella who gets it, right? It is 100% gotta be Stella. Why do I keep writing their names here? It's because my brain is... I've, I've built like 18 decks in four hours. My brain is mush. It's got to be Stella. We can get back Old Keyring 3. We can get back Shadowlight. Yeah. So it has to be Stella. Okay. What other red staples are there? There's the Luckies. Dumb luck. I think I'm going to actually put that in Rita. Because dumb luck is just lucky for evading, right? That's what this card is that I've never played before. There's an upgraded version. Let's go. Scrounge. Yeah, Scrounge is going to live somewhere. I don't have any perceptions left, do I? Oh, they're already in min. Perfect. They're all they're already in min. That's where I was gonna put them. I was like, min needs some uh, <laughs> some skills that give her book. Min is gonna get inquiring mind, and it's gonna probably last the entire campaign. Min's also going to get true understanding, I think. We should finish up decks. Jacqueline's done. We we've already we've already put the pin in Jacqueline. I've forgotten about her completely. Trish, where are you? There you are. I'm gonna give you the obfuscation just some for some level zero working with your weakness. You also are gonna get an emergency cash because you are a big money deck. Six e cash left to go. This might be changed if we get Faustians. Faustian Bargain though? Yeah, but Faustian Bargain could also go to 
Um, I don't know, Mr. Tony Morgan, whose curve is actually really high. Yeah, that might be better than Tony. Who's Tony paired with? Daisy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Where's Daisy? There she is. Let's go, chat. You ready for this? Where's Tony? <laughs> I'm going to put this at the end. Give me find, find me Tony. Tony's getting the Faustians. Tony also needs his off class. <laughs> Tony will get you your off class. Shut up for a bit. All right, we need to grab Delves. And we're going to grab the Deny Existences here as well. And then he gets the False Covenant in his sideboard. Give me the upgraded Mauser. And then Deep Knowledge is going to live in this deck. And then also probably Stirring Up Trouble, right? I've never given Tony Seeker before. What can we do with Seeker? Mm, yeah, we still have a shortcut we got to give out. These are all taken. Okay, I have this in the Silas deck, but I think we're going to put that in the sideboard of the Tony deck. Silas, where are you in here? You got to be somewhere. That's Dexter. I don't want Dexter. Silas. Oh, I didn't even put it on. Perfect. Okay. You need to have, you need to just have not taken any horror for this to work with uh, Tony. That's really funny. I'm going to do it. I'm trying it out, chat. I'm trying it out. We're, we're at the point where uh, I'm pretty happy how the decks are shaping up. Yeah, and he'll he'll take the deep knowledge. <laughs> Let's have some fun, chat. Let's have some fun. I'm kind of into it, to be honest. I'm kind of into it. Give Daisy the logical reasoning. I can get behind that actually. That's that's pretty that's pretty good. I like that. I think that's that's a nice idea. I mean my last card has to be 
Oh, let me check uh, Daisy's curve quickly. That's expensive. That's pretty expensive, but she does have Astounding Revelation. How's Harvey's curve? We just gotta find Harvey in here, chat. It'll only take a few few hours. Rex's uh, ain't bad. Harvey has a very low curve. Okay, Harvey doesn't need it. I'm gonna give Daisy the Burning the Midnight Oils, I think. And I still have two more deductions to give out. Which I'm probably going to put in Daryl. Min, what, what's with this? This Min's deck's fine. Min's deck's doing good. You know what Min is going to get, though, probably? Min is probably going to be the one who will upgrade into the deduction twos. We'll give her the deduction twos. But I think at level zero she'll be fine. But she also has these ice picks. Sorry, we're going to take those off again and see how it goes. She, yeah, she has sharp vision in the fortuitous discoveries. So it'll probably... I think this deck needs uh, some clue explosions. Because it is going to be dropping clues so much. So we are going to put a deduction into Daryl. So I have two guts, four overpowers, zero perceptions, two man decks, and four unexpected courages left. Hmm. Okay. I gotta finish another deck just to give me some some juice. So why don't we get these last two cards in Tony? People were saying. It could be, uh, it can be the, what the frick, the brain mush, the snowstone unturned, which ain't bad, ain't bad. Who has persuasion? Someone has persuasion right now. Someone with a book value, that's why. <laughs> you know what, Tony? You get... My mind is literally empty. Temp fate. I'm calling that a completed Tony. We already have Tempate. Who has Tempate? Who has Tempate right now? Jackie? I gave this to Jackie? Alright, well they're getting out of Jackie. They're getting out of Jackie. He is crazy. Oh, no, there it is right there. Tempate. Alright, that Tempate's getting out of there. Okay, Temp Fates are going to live in this deck. They're better in this deck because we have the Curse Synergy. So with one deck completed, another deck falters.
Daryl. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be Thermos. Tony is done. Tony, congratulations, you are done. Daisy Walker. What are your last two cards? Oh, sorry, one second. Let's look it up. Let's finalize upgrades for Tony. Because like we have to get the list of everything, because upgrades are also part of this. Um, we probably will put the Beretta M1918 on the list, but I don't know how likely it is. False Covenant. False Covenant's there. We got that one. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Lupara. Yeah, if there's one deck it'll go and it'll be his deck, so I'll put them in the side deck as well. Not that I think they'll, all of these will get there, but... Yeah, this is Dunnage XP. Yeah, so most of these aren't going to make it, but. I think this is this is a pretty good pool of cards. Mission accomplished. Tony, goodbye. All right, let's finish up Daisy. We need two more cards here. She has the Burn in the Midnight Oils. Her economy, I think, is pretty sorted. Uh, we have to put Old Book of Lore 2 on this. Or Old Book of Lore 3, my apologies. And we need two more. Is there like a mystic card that'll be good? Probably not, right? What? Let's go back to my decks quickly. Let's grab Jacqueline. Prophesy, I believe, is taken. Yeah, we're going to be putting Pressing and Jackie. Taking out the... Uh, thermos uh, I have to keep one thermos in here chat I have to keep one because I have to play with every card this year so I have to at least try to resolve a thermos at least once right I have to I have those are the rules those are the rules <sighs> it has to be something that is going to last the whole time. It has to be something that's going to, like, we want it from beginning to end. So really, we're going to be looking at the symbols for this. San Hebrew has been taken. Oh, Fieldwork! Fieldwork is a good card. That can live in Min, probably. That could, that would be a great card for Min. Where's Daisy? She's over here. Mm, Min's gonna get the Grizzly Totems, probably. Let's go back to Min. We're working on Min as we're doing everything else. Min! There you are. Grizzly Totem. And we want to give her Grizzly Totem yellow. And then I think Min also grabs some Unexpected Courages. So that's going to put us down to two. And I think that's it for Min. Is 
the fewest skills I've seen in the Min deck. What if I told you that Min can use more than just uh, skills for her ability, though? That's that's the true power of Min, right? That you can use more than just skills. Min is in Circle Undone. Her signature, no, just a card. Yeah, no, Min's actually, like, she's not actually, like, a ski, she doesn't have to be a skill-based investigator. She's just an investigator. Just all of her cards become, every card she she commits basically becomes, like, a double version of itself. Min, Godspeed, you're done. Get out of here. You can, you, it's, your watch has ended. You can rest. Lily only has 14 cards in her deck? Oh my god. We probably got to work on Lily a bit, huh? <laughs> we have to take out the scrying because that's in Gloria now, right? Oh, we haven't done that yet. Okay. Let's move these two to the back. Okay, so we wanted to give her... Alchemical Transmutation, she already has it. <laughs> so the Scrines have got to go to Gloria. No, but this, no, the Scrines don't have to go to Gloria? What are we talking about? Where are we? Our spell slots are already so contested. Nah, the Scrines can live in here still. The Scrines can live in here. Chat, you tricked me. You tricked me, chat. I love this one of Intrepid. <laughs> that is so funny to me. Yes, the second trinket I believe is taken currently as kind of a joke, but also because we need space was Mark Harrigan. He has the other one. All right, let's finish Daisy. We have to finish Daisy. Who's getting safeguard? Great question. Let's get Daisy done. A level zero card that can last the whole time that's preferably a little bit cheap. You know what I'm going to do? Donna has some scary enemies. I'm just going to give her the mind over matter. And we're going to say goodbye to Daisy Walker. Daisy Walker, your, your watch has ended. Okay. Oh my god. This has been a this has been a lot on my brain. This has been a lot on my brain chat. But it's all we're only uh four hours into the YouTube video. So honestly, actually I think we're making good time. I think we're making good time. Only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen decks to go. Uh, let's go. Alrighty then. There's so many cards I need to put in these decks still. There's so many cards I need to put in these decks still. Rita's probably going to get the sweeping kick. Who needs the most work? Pretty much all of them. I think I gotta finish some colors though. So I think I'm gonna try to finalize all my survivor investigators. 
Finn is fine. He's not a survivor. Daryl. Put into Rita's main deck. Yeah, I'm trying to cheat. Shh, don't tell anyone. Probably. Who's in Carcosa? Nathaniel and Harvey. So no one who can take advantage of. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give uh, Rita the I'm out of here though. I think. Have I give anybody? No one's gotten the sneak by yet, right? I think Rita's also going to get cheap shot. Rita is an event-based fighter. I don't think anyone has cheap shot yet. Curve's a bit high. Curve is a tad high. I think she is going to get try and try again. Nope, not try and try again. The live and learn. Which I think we actually have four copies of. We do. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with her taking two of those. Stella can probably take the other ones. Okay, upgrades. What about Stunning Blow? That's probably going to live in Silas, I'm going to wager. You know what, I'm actually doing that now. What's Silas playing? Forgotten Age. Oh, that'll be fun. I love Silas and Forgotten Age. Is that it for Rita? Is Rita done? Any other upgrades we can think of? Spawn Instinct 2, Cheap Shot 2. Yeah, Cheap Shot 2. I also think I'm going to change, uh, d dig deep. I'm going to put that over the scrapper because it can upgrade out of it. And Rita's in Circle Undone, which is actually, like, a pretty... And last but not least, we need um the breaking the cheap shot. Cheap shot too. Cool. Beautiful day. Rita, Godspeed. You don't get a lucky, so that's I guess the luckies are going to these people. I think Daryl is getting the luck uh, some luckies. Mostly because um, he's kind of shitty sometimes. <laughs> he's kind of shitty sometimes with uh, during the Mythos phase and tests like that. And we can use evidence, um, but obviously we also want to maybe use our evidence for other things in this deck as well. But we can put Lucky... What's Stella in? Okay, so Stella's only going to get a few upgrade periods. So I think Stella's actually good for upgrades. We just got to finish out the rest of this deck. So she gets the, the other live and learn.
Daryl's going to grab the bandages. Fuck it. Daryl's going to grab the makeshift trap as well. Still taking scrounge? Yeah, that's probably a fine bet. A lot of good hits there. <clears throat> Carcosa, Invest Carcosa Investigators getting fine close? Probably not. Their stat lines are very good. Yeah, I'll take Grim's Fairy Tales. <laughs> I'll do it. It's a brain symbol. And we gotta we gotta play all the cards, right? We do. We have to play them all by the end of the year. Hmm. Does Daryl have exploit weakness? No, Stella has exploit weakness. I think Stella gets the end of the roads because she gets the most actions in her turn, really. All right. Stella, you're done. Get out of here. Daryl needs two more cards. There's <laughs> so many cards in this game, man. There's so many cards. Silas, you get overpower. You need it. Who has Meglass? Currently no one. So I could go to Daryl. Two overpowers remaining. Silas, you're also going to get the last Unexpected Courages. Zero Unexpected Courages remaining. <laughs> this is a funny deck. This is a funny deck. Alright, let's look at the other innate skills. Especially ones that are higher levels. Anyone going to sell us more card draw? Yeah, Unrelenting. Unrelenting's going to do it. Ooh, Manual Decks 2 is not bad. I'll put it in the sideboard. Fuck yeah. I meant at zero? No, no, it's... Silas just, no, no, Silas just makes it through the first scenario. The first scenario, he's fine. We can run the upgraded Defiance as well. What's good, Silas card draw, draw if I don't have Unrelenting in his collection? Uh, p p uh, not, not much, actually, to be honest. Not much, to be honest. Silas is going to get Signum Crucifix. Oh yeah, I guess we should have Eucatastrophe in the sideboard. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This looks like a, like a normal Silas deck. <laughs> This just looks like a normal time to play Silas. I could grab the upgraded survival instinct as well. Because I don't think anyone's taken that. Did anyone take Take Heart? Yes, I believe they did. I believe Stella. Stella took it for sure, and I think someone else did as well. Maybe Finn.
Doesn't fin. Finn, you are going to get uh, probably the other manual decks. Out of manual decks. You're, you are the one who gets Savant. You get Savio Cori in your sideboard. You get Savant in your sideboard. I don't think anyone has slip away, right? No one has slip away. I'm going to put the slip away in the fin deck for sure. I think... Lola Santiago, that is going to eventually live in Trish. Because we have Delilah over here as Finn. I don't know who the other person who has take card is. Who would it be? Who would have take card? Was it you, Min? No, it wasn't you, Min. Was it Rita? It wasn't you, Rita. Was it you, Daryl? No, you're, you're not done yet. I guess I have two take hearts left. All right, they'll go in Silas. They're a great placeholder for the unrelenting. Let's do that. That sounds great. Silas, Godspeed. I'll go, we'll go through and check to make sure. We'll go through and check. But I think I have noticed or chat has noticed when there has been an error. Lily still needs 16 cards. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny to me. Work the Lily problem? I can't work the Lily problem because Lily is... Lily's fine. Lily's fine. Because Lily is not a deck until she gets, like, her upgrades. And she's... What scenario is she in? Scarlet Key's one easy that's an easy first scenario i'm not worried about lily i'm worried about this daryl <laughs> okay i guess for stella i'm quickly just gonna put on the other uh Grizzly Totem Red. Well, Grandma, you can have the leftover guts. We are out of guts. All we have left is two overpowers. Still taking a Relic Hunter? Probably not, no. Uh, someone needs someone needs sword cane still are there any other staples that we're missing in survivor I don't think so is there anything we're missing in mystics you come on over here. We're going to try to get a good chunk of these. Actually, you know what? Who we can also finish? We can finish Trish and Finn. Because they're very close. Trish is going to grab a Money Talks. She has no yellow cards on this deck. Congratulations. You get to crack the case. <laughs> that is so funny. No yellow cards. Who's she playing? 
Oh, she's playing Dream Eaters. That's easy. Dream Eaters is an easy campaign. Stylish code. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Quick thinking. Yeah, actually, quick thinking is probably pretty good here. Um, actually, it's probably better in Finn. I think we want more money in here. Uh, she gets, though, she has an e-cash. <laughs> she has an e-cash. She'll grab a well-connected three in her sideboard. She'll grab, uh, what's it called? Uh, high, uh, yeah, high roller probably could live in here too. Probably high roller and then also hot streaks. We probably want as well. Who's getting the easy marks? Oh, probably Trish, right? Probably Trish. All right, is there anything else that makes Cashola? Finn does not have an ally at level zero. So you know what that means, chat. <laughs> Gregory Gry. <laughs> Don't be silly. <clears throat> yeah, someone gonna take Leo. Leo's another one, but I don't, honestly, chat, I don't like Leo. I don't, I don't like uh, Leo DeLuca that much. I don't like Leo. I'm not a big fan of Leo. I don't like the guy. Grandma, where are you? You are the one who gets the fine clothes. And yeah, I was thinking actually a disguise for Finn as a one of, I think is probably just an easy way to close this out. All right, anything else, what else is Finn going to get here? Oh, by the way, uh, someone is going to get the remaining, uh, it's going to be you, Rex. You are going to get the remaining map the area, I think. I mean, upgraded pickpocketing is pretty easy. But I mean, like, the upgraded pickpocket, no, Trish is pretty, Trish is pretty heavy. He could use the scout ahead. Do I like that more than the disguise? Probably, yeah. Probably. Ah, no, 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 no. I actually think uh, it's a big map, but him and ja uh, Jacqueline are probably going to stay pretty close together. Okay, I think this deck's good. I suppose Trish is going to get the another day, another dollar. I feel like we're so close, but we're so far. See you later, Finn. Maybe Trish gets the Meg Glass. I would honestly actually be for that. No one's taken Nimble. Ah, fuck me. So what's better here? The Nimble? 
No, nah, it's probably the Nimbles are good here. They work with Thieves' Kit really well. And I mean, I think we'll give uh, we'll give her we'll give Trish in the sideboard another day, another dollar, because she is the one who's probably gonna want it. All right, Trish, see you later. Daryl. All right, we gotta finish up Daryl. Yeah, I can see backpack being good here, but the problem is I don't want to... I, I, I gotta look at my goons before I decide on that. Gloria, you're up here. So what do we have left? We have Rex. We have Harvey. Hold oh my god, we have a lot to go. Because Dex... I mean, Daryl, worst case, can still just, just get clues. We don't need to do all the fancy fucking shit if we don't have to, right? We don't have to do all the fancy stuff. We can just, like... Make it work. Here, take this disc of Exomna. <laughs> uh, Rex, you can also take the cryptographic cipher, I think. Yeah, he can take the I've Got a Plans for sure. Give him the upgraded ones. And yeah, I guess on Earth the Ancients are a thing. Uh, we might just have to play it, right? We might just have to play it. Yeah, I think we'll play Unearth the Ancients just to fill up space. It's a perception. Are we doing Farsight? Maybe? I'm going to put it in the sideboard because this would be the deck that wants it, but we kind of have to see how this plays out because we really don't have a lot of... Like, we have things, but we don't have, like, a lot of things, you know? Yeah, we have a lot of preposterous sketches. Yeah, we can put that here, no problem. And you can even take the upgraded version, baby. Put it on your list. And honestly, Rex, you're even going to get the preposterous sketches. Oh, and I guess, yeah, we had the Raven Quill, right? To work with the Forbidden Tome. But it's just by name. It's not, it's, so it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just Forbidden Tome. Okay, sure. Cryptic Writings? We have Cryptic Writings. But for the upgraded version, yeah, we have the upgraded version too. All right, Harvey, you're done. Were characters chosen for this with how easy it would be to fit with the cards? No, I just chose cards. <laughs> I just chose characters and uh, builds that I thought wouldn't, uh, just builds that interest me that also probably wouldn't have worked. I don't think Tony ended up taking the No Stone Unturn. I think that was just... That was all a dream. No, he is not taking it. Dude, what are you fucking upgrading? What's the one higher, uh, no, hyper awareness? Yeah, sorry. We're actually going to do the switch because then I can put higher ed in this. Do I have two copies of higher ed? Probably because it was done it, right? Mine's 
light. All right, there's two of them. Yeah, we'll give that to Harvey then. We can give Harvey another copy. Daryl! Where's my friend Silas? Approaching five hours. Only four hours and 20 minutes on recording. I think we'll be done before the five hour mark. Oh. <sighs> I want that for Silas. I want that for someone, but not Silas. Figure that out. Okay. Rex Murphy. Silas thinking and Jessica? Probably not. He's He might, but he's probably just going to live with uh, Grandma the whole time. But I can see Jessica being good. I'll put it on the sideboard, but I imagine Grandma is just going to last until the end of time. Mangle of Jinxes? Probably not. We don't really have, like, a Soak Survivor. Yeah, I, I, I do too normally, but I'm also playing with every card. So I kind of, I imagine that Dark Horse is going to last the whole time. Because we kind of just have to play with as it is. Do I have any Seekers left? All right, Rex, congratulations. You've got earned deduction, too. Yeah, probably just no stoned unturned, right? That's our last real. And who's he paired with? Rex is paired with Lily. Okay, that's not bad. All right, Rex, all done. <sighs> okay. We are going to end with where we started, which is our goons. So I think we just finish our last clover, which is Grandma. Grandma doesn't have her off class. She's going to be rogue, I think. But she also could be guardian, because then we always we just take his first watch. Who took Faustian? Tony? I think it was Tony. Tony, yeah. I actually think we're going to go to green. We're going to go to rogue. We're going to go to rogue. And we are going to grab... Think on your feet.
because we're going to upgrade into under surveillance i think that's we can put that on our list over here mm, tony 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 hey tony where are you Oh my god. I think yeah, I'll do the elusives. I think elusive is kind of sick. Conserver is Jacqueline's friend. No, Finn's done. Finn's done. Oh my god. You have the uncage the soul. This is an expensive deck. Okay, I think we lose the sign magic. That was from a day where everything was happy. E cash. There are four e caches remaining. <laughs> ah! Yeah, what can we do to bring our curve down? Maybe we lose the power word. It's cute, but we could probably just, like, burn it, right? Yeah, the power word's so expensive. What's she in? Grandma's in Forgotten Age. Yeah. It could be good there. It could be good, but it's just so expensive. But what else economy do we have? In a rogue, is there anything? I mean, she could take the 21 or bust. Who's she paired with? Silas. Oh, okay. Does Rita have quick getaway? She doesn't have quick getaway. That could also go in Trish. No, I think it's better in Rita. Hmm. Probably the I'm out of here can go. We switch like that. I think Leo, as we've been talking about, I think Leo is going to get the friends in low places. Leo can also get inspiring presence. I'm out of here for grandma. 
It does stop the power word. I mean, it brings our curve down a bit. Yeah, I think power word's gonna go. Yeah, let's do the I'm out of here. Grandma, I'm saying goodbye. Hit and run for Lilo. Lilo? Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Uh, we're going to say item for this, right? We can grab the, what is it, Lucid Dreaming. Put that in the side deck. I was the boring one though. I don't care about boring. I care about how good it is. <laughs> I don't think anyone has safeguards yet. Yeah. It's probably fine on Leo. I mean, he's actually probably fine on most of these guys. Where's Mark? Mark is that one. Dream Eaters, I don't think so. Nathaniel is Carcosa. So what do I still have for economy? I have two e-caches. I have two e-caches. And I have um, a tw two 21 or bust. And I have two stand togethers. Is there any other economy that I'm missing there? On the hunt three. Thank you. On the hunts, I think are going to go into... Probably Nacho, right? Did I put Kicking the Hornets Nest in Trish? Did I just forget to do that? I did, after all that talk. All right, we can drop and bezel treasure then, I think. Because then I can put embezzle treasure into Leo. Yeah, I agree that Innsmouth is probably a good place, so I think Leo can also get the safeguards. Calling in flavor? Calling in flavors are not gone. We can put those in Leo, and we can be very happy about it. I know people say I don't like Rod of Animalism, so I'll put it in the side deck, though, just so we can mark it. Well, um, I think Lily is going to get the Vicious Blows. And I think Mark is going to get some Vicious Blows as well. Anything else going on for Neo, uh, for uh, Leo, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Neo Anderson. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, Daryl could actually just run a pocket telescope. Enchant weapon? Yeah, that's that seems fair. Let's do enchant weapon. Oh, and then he also needs his reliables. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Two, three, four, five. My apologies, Intrepid. Now, Stand Together is still available. Tetsuo. Tetsuo is going to live in Mr. Mark, uh, Mark Harrigan. Trish, Godspeed. Leo, Godspeed. Give Nacho the take the initiative. Hell yeah, I'm down for that. And he's taking the on the hunts as well. And he gets all this other stuff, so he gets the upgraded one two punch. He's in what? Carcosa? Yeah, that's a bit of a pipe dream, but we can try. He can stick to the plan? I mean, maybe. <laughs> he could like he could take it, but it's. I don't know. I think. Uh... What do I do? I need the other counter punch. What's the upgrade to get over here? It's fast now? Yeah, I'll put it in the side deck. He probably should take the stand together. Helps pay for him and Harvey. That means... Mark gets an emergency cash. And Lily gets an emergency cash. And Dexter gets a 21 or bust. Yeah, I can see something worth fighting for being there. Flesh ward over here. And then give me a dodge over here. And then I have a teddy bear. Oh yeah, teddy bears. Teddy's bear has been swallowed up uh, a long time ago. Nathaniel Cho, I think Nathaniel Cho's done. Yeah, I'm prepared for the worst. So one of them, I think, is going to go into Lily's deck, the upgraded version. And... I think it's you then, right? Because then we the stick to the plan can live in this deck, I think, is probably good. Because then we can get extra ammunitions.
Custom ammo, yep. Put on the side deck, because no one else wants it. Oh, and yeah, I know I actually want one in the chamber. I actually want that. That was supposed to be in this deck. What can I cut for one in the chamber that can maybe live uh, in no one else's deck? Maybe something that can go to Nathaniel Cho. I mean, I can lose the Intrepid. We actually we actually can get away without running a single Intrepid. Bolus? Nickel Bolus? Yeah, let's put one of those in the Nat Cho deck, I think. And we can go to a one of something worth fighting for. Yeah, I'm for it. Oh, one second, one second. No, this this uh, this the second wind does damage, but it doesn't do horror. Maybe we do a one of Flesh Ward and a two of something worth fighting for instead. We do that. Nickel Bolus. Mark Harrigan, you're done. Nathaniel Cho, you're done. All right. Last three decks. It You can take Backpack now. Or is that maybe better in Dexter? Nope, it's not. Make glass is not anywhere. Magnifying glass can come in this deck now. All right, what can we cut that I think is kind of poopy? This persuasion, get rid of the junk, get rid of the junk. Okay, we actually also do, we also have to go, we have to look at my list at the end of the thing too. My list of notes. What else does Daryl want to upgrade into? Poor Lily? Yeah, Lily's going to be fine. I'm not worried about Lily. Like, it's no surprise that... I mean, Lily has everything she needs in this stuff, right? She has a weapon. She has five fists. Lily's fine. Lily's fine. Is Storm of Spear still available? It is, but I only have three brain. B-Cop in? Yeah, B-Cop's in the Lily deck. Oh, the, um... Yeah, I just don't know if that, that's a good one, but I don't know if it's necessary. Guard Dog actually gonna make the cut. Guard Dog might be able to live in... What does Mark Harrigan have? Mark! Mark's still open? Mark only... Did Mark not save? It's something I thought Mark was done. Did I not save Mark when I closed it? I didn't save Mark when I closed it. Oh no! That's okay. He had an emergency cache. He had extra ammunition. Tetsuo. Let's give him uh, only one bolus. He lost Intrepid. He had one in the chamber. <clears throat> he 
He didn't have the vicious blow, right? The Lily has the vicious blow. Who has the other vicious blows? I need some sugar. What else do you fucking have? I can roll the tape back. Here, well, let's save this quickly. And let's look at some of our others. So Nathaniel Cho. Because we have four vicious blows. Yes. No vicious blow. Leo. No vicious blow. So Mark must have a vicious blow then. <laughs> what was the last two is the question. That's not unfortunately not the one in his deck. What did he not have? What is he missing from his deck? Oh, he probably should play Hallowed Mirror, huh? He probably should play Hallowed Mirror. So maybe we'll just call an audible and put Hallowed Mirror in here. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, he didn't have it, but he definitely should. Oh, no one has glory. Alright, so we should give someone glory. We're missing scene of the crime and evidence as well. So focused on intrepid. It's true. It's true. This has been a freaking journey. Just having some more sugar. Yeah! Let's go! I mean, I suppose I could split up the glories, right? It doesn't hurt if we split up the glories. Rest in peace, Mark Harrigan. Actually save this time. Let's go. Okay. Daryl is done. Dexter. He's got the 21 or bust. I mean, you can get the upgraded Liquid Courage. 
Forbidden knowledge is probably just an easy choice. I support it. I'm down for it. Yeah, that's in alphabetical order, but it, for some reason, my brain doesn't see it that way. My brain is freaking mushy right now. All right, what else does Dex upgrade into? Is her flame three? Ineffable truth. I mean, we really know what Dex is truly upgrading into. Dex, this Dex deck is going to have the most trouble. Ah, but he's in Dream Eaters. With Trish. It's easy. How's he going to find it? Just Molly? Yeah, that's. I've actually played this exact deck before. With a few, with a bitch of a better um, resource economy. But it worked. It worked. Okay, Lily, Lily, Lily. Your upgrades look phenomenal. <laughs> but now we got to finish your level zero deck. You have the overpower. Now we're playing Tabu, we can't play David. David's a higher... Uh, Poggy? Give me the withers. Sword canes never made it into a deck. So we can find if there's a better home for those. No one is drawn to the flame either. You're going to play this Lily deck at the very end of this run? That is very funny. Uh, I mean, the first scenario is going to be tough, but as soon as I get in, like, my butterfly swords, I'm, I'm a happy camper. Give me Premonition, just a great card. Yeah, Grandma probably should get the cane, huh? Oh, did I? Who? Grandma, you should also have, uh... Grandma. Oh, Grandma! You need String of Curses. And you also should get Sword Cane. I would love to cut some of these purple cards. All right, we're going to cut Enraptured. And we're going to do some surgery. We're going to probably put that Enraptured in Daisy Walker. Someone's going with Beyonce Possession? Already in Silas.
The enraptured can leave, remove the mind over matter. Beauty. Daisy, you're good. Daisy, get out of here. No, no, no. It's just this... Uh, I have to get three cards in this Lily deck. And that Lily is scratching the dregs, but I'm trying to see if I can improve her somehow. But it's mostly because she's not a mystic, right? She's just not a mystic. Yeah, yeah, because she would have, like, simple stay, like a war to deny. A deny would be great here. You know, yeah, just to fill out the junkers. All right, here's what we do. Grandma, you're not getting sword cane. Bye, Grandma! Um. Go to my decks. Grandma, you're back into the pit. Go me, give me Dexter. Then we lose the bandolier. I think, anyway. And then we go to Mark. And Mark, I think, is going to get the bandolier. And then we're going to give Lily the bolus. I think we're going to cheese a little bit. We're going to have a little bit of cheese here. And then we go like that. So her level zero deck is certainly, I think, the clunkiest. But like a level zero Lily deck, I, I do believe is one of, in my opinion, one of the worst level zero decks in the game. But I do think it's going to upgrade nicely and she's going to fight. She's going to fight really well. 
I think this also can be very nice with a few things I know about Scarlet Keys. I actually think that can work pretty well there. All right. She could use card draw, though. That I do agree. So let's, you know, let's look at the deck. Because are we running e cash in this? Well, in that case, <laughs> how does this sound? And then I can actually probably drop the bolus and replace it with a glory. Because we have one glory left. Yeah, that seems good. Do I have too many now? 4 XP in this... Oh, I just did the wrong one, chat. But you have to excuse me. My brain is fucking garbage right now. I've been... I've built 18 decks in 5 hours. I'm actually... I'm actually impressed with what I was able to keep... Uh, keep in my head for that whole time. Alright. Alright, let's look at what we got here. Thought we split up the glories? Yeah, we did. There's one in Mark, right? Delta, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. Yeah, one glory here. One glory there. Thought we left one in show? Let's check. I don't think one was ever in show, to be honest. No, because the glory was one where we were like, oh, I forgot about this card. Okay, let's look at my notes. Okay, we have the Tarot's. Who gets Fire Extinguisher? Breaking and Entering 2. Okay. You're probably going to get Fire Extinguisher. But you have Chainsaw. So it's probably you're going to get Fire Extinguisher. Yeah, I think you're going to get Fire Extinguisher. What did that say about Preston? Uh, oh, Fire Extinguisher already here. Perfect. Done. Okay. Preston Fairmont is good because built an economy. Yeah, die, Preston. No one likes you. All right, breaking and entering two. Is that in the Trish thing? Trish! There you are. Rita has one fire axe. Good call. Does she? I like Preston too. I love Preston. He's one of my favorites. It was just there. I don't know, Chad. It's not there. You know what? I'm actually going to put the breaking and entrance over here. Living Ink in Dexter. I can get behind Living Ink in Dexter. I'm going to cut the Spectral Razor from Dexter and put it in Lily. 
No, Dexter needs that to fight the, uh, Gugs. We can lose Familiar Spirit. Okay, and then we have some Taros I gotta divvy out. Daryl! And then the brains. Because is there two of the tarots or is there only one? I think there's two, right? There's two. Too. Are you gonna draw the random weaknesses today? No, I'm not. No. Okay, and then Brain. It's probably good for Dexter and Jacqueline, right? Just the ones who are gonna be fighting with it. I think I fucking know the name of the goddamn Four of Cups. I know the the miss the the sir the seeker one. And then Lily and Leo. What am I doing? Nope, 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 nope. This one, please. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I want to do is I want to look at this deck quickly. Who's getting Charismas and Relic Hunters? Uh, Leo is getting the Charismas. Is getting a Charisma. I don't think anyone's getting... I don't know if anyone's actually getting the um, Relic Hunters, though. Let's go through and just give a look. It's not you. I can see it for Dexter. It's not you. Eight resources, I'm okay. 
It's not you. It's not you. Daryl. Don't think it's you. No, we're good there. Who gets the red clock? Probably, probably no one. Definitely not you, Nat, uh, Nat Cho. Thank you, though. No, you get the charisma, though. You have a charisma. If Trisha's deck wasn't so expensive, I'd say she'd probably get it. But hers is very XP. No, it's 10 XP. That's so expensive, chat. That's so expensive. Like, if I was playing a parallel skids deck with Underworld support, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I'm trying to, like, you know, make 18 decks out of one collection. So sometimes I just have to, like, make the choices that better for the long-term victory of the deck. I can see it in Rex with a double lucky cigarette case. That's that's fun. Stella can take it. Stella can take a a relic hunter. I think Min actually can take a relic hunter as well. I'll, I'll I'd love one for Min. Made, you're way too expensive. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll put one in Dexter as well. Wow, chat. It's done. <sighs> Took me five hours and 16 minutes. But there we have... 18 decks built with one collection. Um, uh, and honestly, it, it was more just like a brain crunch than it was difficult, I think. It was just kind of like trying to figure out a good approach to it. But it was doable. It was doable. It, it was actually, honestly, a lot less hard than I thought it was, too. I thought we were for sure going to have to make some sacrifices but we cut all of the junk for the most part relentless is still in um you know what actually you know what we're gonna do give me a second no nah, fuck it's been saved Get the uh, Intrepid in there. <laughs> one of Relentless, one of Intrepid. But I do think that overall, though, um, it's uh, it was fun. I actually had it, it was a good, a good time. Uh, it blows my mind just how many weapons there are in the game at this point now. Like I kind of just forget how many there are. And I, I imagine once I, um, I was like, what? oh. That's what happened, chat. I made a, I edited this deck. That's where you saw the fire axe from. Did the quick getaways get in there? They did. Oh, no one's running lucky threes. No one's lucky love running lucky threes. Or honed instinct. Okay, okay, one second. We're not done. 
We're not done, chat. We're not done. Get rid of coup de gras. Barricade survives the cut. Honestly, I'm actually excited to play Barricade. Um, and I think that coup de gras is going to go into Dexter. The coup de grace is going to come into Dex. I think we're going to burn the Prophesy. No, no, the Prophesy works with his thingamajig. No, I think we're going to burn the Prophesy. We're going to hop into Lily and we're going to give her the Prophesy to replace... Maybe she has a shitty purple card we can get rid of. Honestly, I actually think this is kind of okay. This is a weird deck. Yeah, I think I like the coup de gras a bit more in decks than the prophesy. Okay. Torrent of Power is interesting. It lets us do something with our scryings as well. We've done it. It's over! It's over. So if you're watching this live on Twitch and if you're, if you're watching this not live on YouTube, this is the run is going to start in uh, it's going to start in um, February for being on the internet. But I'm going to be starting this, I imagine, next week for live on Twitch. But it's over. 18 decks built with one collection. I'm going to have to go through and like double check it. So if I mean, I think Twitch was pretty good. And I was also pretty good at keeping uh, everything sorted. But if you um, notice anything that's over its count, let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you watched this whole video, uh, holy cow. Because uh, this was five and nearly five and a half hours of deck building today. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, a GG's.